Looking not too shabby. All right then, we have accomplished every level in Lemmings 1 and 9 out of the 12 tribes here with a gold medal on Lemmings 2. Only 3 remain. What are we going to do? The Cave Lem, the Polar Bear, or the Outdoors? I think we said we'd do Polar last time. Let's go and play with Isis. Yeah, we already did the Shadow Chocolates, Pandy. Shadow was by far the easiest that we've ever done. Now for Polar. I think I heard that there's mandatory death in the Polar region. We have faced very little mandatory death, so I'm not keen on taking any. Let's go for it. Unlike many of the level 1 levels, this doesn't give me a slew of abilities to work with, but maybe the level will be easy regardless. Very Christmassy sounding music to start us off with. I have one flamethrower, four bazookas, and four mortars, and that does it for destruction. Otherwise, it seems like a fairly basic way forward. Okay, I see everything. We're going to start with one climber to get us out of here. I actually think the best way is to blow this up and use the flamethrower here, so... Let's have you build us up here. Oh, well that is already quite unfortunate. Uh, actually we might be okay here. We might just be okay. We do have glue to help us out. Let's just torch our way through this. Yeah, the glue is going to save the day here. Again, lovely thing about Lemmings too is if you make a mistake, you can usually get by regardless. Well, not in disastrous mistakes. Now let's blow our way out of here and hopefully not kill the Lemmings attempting to get us out. Yeah, it really is Christmassy music, isn't it? This is a um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer tune. So be good for goodness sake. Easy money now, stop doing that. Oh, I made a mistake! <laughs> Can you tell the mistake I made? I wanted to mortar fire to get him off of doing that. But that's okay, there is a way potentially out of this as well. I wanted him to stop uh, building, but well, it didn't work out. That's okay, I will use glue instead, and the glue has ended up blocking the way forward. I have well and truly scuppered this one then. Unless a very well-placed bazooka shot can help us, and I don't think it will. Well... Uh, maybe a very well-placed mortar shot? Yeah, no, man, I, I ruined these lemmings with my impatience. Can't believe I failed level one here. Oh, nice. Lemming, says Space Guy. I remember playing this back in the early 90s on a floppy disk. Never had this on the PC or Amiga. Only had this for the Super Nintendo, which is why it's what I'm playing right now. That said, I was never able to beat this game. But fortunately, my adult brain is far superior to whatever I had in my head as a child. Right, this time, let's not mess around, shall we? Bazooka one. I'm gonna mortar the other one. Pop. And then the first one to get out becomes a runner. So they can quickly rock climb their way up here. Torch through and glue our way to victory. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Glue pour to victory. And then grab one of you to just build a stairway out of here. That yippee confirms that the glue was put in the right place. There we go. Now let's not mortar fire for no reason whatsoever and destroy our stairway out of here. Do you know the origin of Rudolph? asks Die Guy. I do not know the origin. 
I'd given that the red nose is there, I'd assume it's based on getting drunk. Although you also get a red nose when it's really cold. Hmm. Still gonna go with drunk, though. Ah, welcome, Yagamoth. The game looks so much more like what I remember as a kid. Didn't realize I played Lemmings 2 rather than 1. Looks less tedious. Yeah, there's quite a bit of quality of life in Lemmings 2 over Lemmings 1. The ability to lock onto Lemmings and the ability to have a fast-forward button just immediately make it amazing. Also, I didn't realize we were going to Scotland here. I wouldn't exactly describe Scotland as a polar area. It's certainly not warm, though. All right, I think the solution is to ignore most of this level and instead use the fencer here. And then once the fencer looks like it can't go much further, I'm gonna use the flamethrower and the flamethrower again and there we go. They wanted me to do some, uh, some stuff to drive a lemming across here and then laser blast through the bottom. Was I going to do any of that? Absolutely not. I'm inclined to say that Lemmings 2 is easier than Lemmings 1, but I think it's easier in all the right ways. Lemmings 1 had some truly obnoxious levels where you, you go through quite a lot of work for about 6 or 7 minutes and then you're faced with a complete 50-50 to seal it off, like building that final bridge to get the bulkier lemmings out, and the lemmings are all condensed together, so you don't know if it's building left or right. Oh my days. Some of those levels were just horrible. Snow more lambs, six minutes, plenty of tools. Montgomery Ward created Rudolph. They gave someone, designed him for a coloring book they gave out in the 30s, wow. They probably gave over the rights for that as well. An extremely vertical level here. Where's Scotland? There's Scotland. Okay, to get to the Scottish Arctic base, we're going to have to navigate quite a lot of steel. I wasn't expecting to see a lot of steel in a polar level. And this could be a little awkward. I have six ropers to make my way up here, so I probably rope up like you, then up like you, then up like you, and across like you. So that immediately necessitates four of my ropers. A fifth one to get along here. Holy moly, okay. That leaves me with only one roper. But what do we do? What destructive powers do we have? The lemmings are going to walk over to the right. I'll probably blow this up with a bazooka. And then we come along here. Mm, you know what? Aside from just one bit of roping, I think this is easy peasy. So let's make our first guy here a runner so he can get way ahead of the competition. And pop. Uh-oh, that didn't work. That did the opposite of working. It actually turned him around. But that's okay. We have a solution. The solution is to make you use the bazooka here again. That way nobody's going to walk back up. And then... Once more, onto the breach. Okay, good-ish. But you're going the wrong way. I actually truly need you going over to the... Whoops. Okay, well, I killed him. I needed that runner, so... Uh, maybe next time, don't use the bazooka. Use the... Use the sword. Came here to sate my deeply ingrained love of meaty tunes. Well, meaty... Rudolph the Reindeer seems a little out of place here in February. Speaking as a man who has seen two days of snowfall in this entire past year. Right, if I use the sword there, is that a problem? I really want to use the sword here. So I do want to blow this up. What I'll do, in fact, is not use my runner so quickly. I'll get you really close. Pop! That should work a lot better. And then... You are going to be my runner, because I really need you getting ahead of the competition here. Otherwise the roping won't work out so well. Yeah, crack it. Oh! Okay, so mistakes were further made. Deadly fall over on the far left. And some of the lemmings that I turned around with the bazooka ended up dying. Okay, alright, it's okay, we're learning. Learning valuable lessons. Two days of snow at Balaton? Damn, that's unfortunate. We had quite a snowy winter in northern Germany. 
wouldn't really count as unfortunate. I may like snow, but I've lived my life in Scotland and Sweden. I've seen enough snow for a lifetime. You know, I rather like waking up on a February morning and finding that it is 16 degrees. Right, so I'm going to remove this, and then any of these lemmings that get the right idea of turning around, I'm going to do this. Now everybody is going to walk off to the right, and this guy here, you, are my runner. There should be nobody going up and over, thanks to- holy moly, what is your major malfunction? Okay, I have one solution here, and that is to make you super lem. And Super Lem is... oh, oh, okay, hopefully he turned himself around. He did, okay. So even though Super Lem immediately discovered some kryptonite in his pocket, he did still turn around, so he shouldn't fall to his grim demise. Could rope over the tree on the right instead of blasting it. I hate wasting ropers when I don't have to. Right, this is a little bit precise. You get right on to here. All right, great, that should keep everybody safe. And now, we rope up. Ah, oh, bollocks. Uh, this could be okay, though. Look at this guy go. Hmm. So be good for goodness sake, huh? Right, don't worry, be happy. We can use filler once all the lemmings have arrived, but not before, because it might block some of them. This is what I mean by the difference between lemmings 1 and lemmings 2. If this were lemmings 1, this accidental roper would be end of it. I'd have to restart the level. But in lemmings 2, you generally have ways of wiggling out of here. Uh, I'm not drowning in time, but I should have sufficient time. Okay, now that they're all up here, I will fill the area. Oh, okay, did that work? Kind of. Yeah, it actually did. I am a little surprised, but it did work. Now, with only three ropers remaining, I need to rope up to here. He'll go down in history like who? And now I need to fence my way here. Fencers gain altitude, and I need to gain as little altitude as possible. And then once you reach the ending here, kablooey! And everybody's safe to go to the Scottish Arctic Reserve. Alright, nice. And yes, we did end up with a spare roper. Could have used it earlier, but we didn't. This game doesn't have a score system like the first one did, so you don't feel the need to score max whatsoever. And again, who in the history of gaming has ever played for score? Not a single name comes to mind. In fact, I can't think of any game I've played where I went, okay, now to do that again and get a better score. When has that ever been a fact? Okay, okay, I immediately thought of two counterexamples to my own argument. Uh, Space Cadet Pinball and Wetrix. God help you if you remember Wetrix. Best Tetris clone there's ever been. Right, as they are, they're going to walk over this hump, fall down here, land there, continue walking to the right. This is a survivable fall. Ooh, there's ice here. You don't see ice often, but I think the lemmings just keep falling over on this unless you make them a skater. So we should find a way to avoid the ice. Or if not everyone can avoid it, just send some select lemmings that way. So I think what I'll do is I'll build a stacker here. The stacker will make them walk over this way. I can fill this in with filler. They walk over to the left, then to the right, and down. And using our explosives, we can blow up the Christmas tree and make our way to the Scottish Igloo. All right, all seems to work just fine. It's nice not to have to rely on... Oh, hang on, I'm going to delay some lemmings here. They're going to just throw rocks for the hell of it, and that will buy enough time for you to set up the stacker.
please continue to delay yourself just long enough to let the stacker do his work. And then from there, the stacker can... Filler. And then you even walk off in this direction, meaning I do not need to use any skaters. Which is probably a bit of a bummer for people that want to see all the different abilities. Can I do something about that? I'm trying to think how I can turn a lemming around right now. If I make someone jump here, there's a good chance they're going to kill themselves. Hmm. Maybe I can do this. Okay, he only broke his spine. He'll be fine. Um, can you not go there? That would be a no. That's alright. You can balloon out of there as well. Not worried about any of these lemmings. They'll be just fine as long as one crafty bugger blows up that tree. From here, perhaps? Looks good to me. There we go. Even though you turn around, you should just bounce off of that and be okay. And let's go and have a look at the ice. I'll just balloon you out of here for speed. So when a lemming lands on sheer ice here, they just keep falling. And they keep turning around as they fall. So you'd be stuck. Kind of cute. I can't believe how much work they managed to do with very little in the way of uh, sprite work. And let's get you out of there. I'm not made of time. And now you just effortlessly skate your way across. Very cute. I don't know how many pixels are involved in these lemmings, it kind of looks like maybe 12 by 8. And they really work wonders with it. Give it a jump! And they do, they do this little one-legged dance when going over to the Scottish Igloo, amazing. Alright, easy peasy, what's that, three or four levels? Haven't shed a sweat whatsoever? Maybe we've accidentally left all the easiest levels to the end. Jumping, scooping, bombing, filling, roping, bazooking, fencing, and mortaring for take your best shot. Nine minutes time limit, huh? Where do we even spawn? Okay, over there in the far right. They're going to jump out and bounce around, they're going to bounce back here, and have a fatal fall, and even if the fall wouldn't kill them, they fall into the void over there, so we immediately need to do something about this tree. And more than that, even once we destroy the tree, they're going to bounce off of that and walk back the way around, so... We could go over or through the tree, we have the option, roper or fencer would both work. I can't use explosives, it would turn some lemmings around. Either way, we need to get through here, and then we fall down, and over, and... Ooh, another pit here. Where's the exit? Oh, wow, that is cruel. What do we have in terms of downwards destruction? We have three bombs. We could probably bomb one, two, three, and then fence our way out. Although, again, there's a pit here. Err... Uh, hmm... Then I could bomb, 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 fence, point blank, mortar our way out of here. But that requires getting up here. One roper of my seven used here, another one over here, down to five. Fall down and up over there. Alright, alright, I think I have a solution, especially with using one jumper. Alright, the solution is clear. I need you to rope over to there immediately. And that way everybody is going to be safe in this pit. And one trailblazer, let's say you, is going to jump ahead and then forge a path. As long as I keep one fencer to get rid of that snowball, we're pretty good. The roper is so powerful. Which kind of makes this uh, a lot nicer to play than the original 
Lemmings one. Okay, well that was less nice. Misroped. Oh, and that's even less nice. How do I turn you around from this grim situation? That's okay. We have a bunch of scoopers. I'll put those to use. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to scoop you, scoop you, and oops. Big oops. Okay. Didn't intend to do that, but I did do that. Do I have enough to get by with just a three ropers? Okay, okay. Mistakes are being made, constantly, but we shall unmistake and get our way out of here. And I can use filler to fill up this little gap that I've created. There we go, just enough. You could even say it glows. Okay, that's also survivable. I just need to fence my way out at the very top. Oh, crumbs. I, I think I wasted that fencer because of... Well, you know what? I have a mortar. Can't go wrong with mortar, but I can't waste my fencers. I hate to waste drop, but I keep wasting the rope. All right, mortar shot, point blank. Boom! That tore apart the top part of the rope, but that'll still allow passage. At this point, I can quite safely release my lemmings. I think rather than use the fence, I'll use a point-blank explosive to release them. I didn't think the risk was very high of them being blown anywhere dangerous, and I was completely correct in that assertion. They're all going to join in. There should be an easy enough passageway over here, and I did save myself this scooper. But I don't think I want to use the scooper first, I want to use the bomber first. Let's get bomber man all over this. Bang! And that's good for a second bomber man, but I think I'll point blank bazooka instead. I hope that hole is something that lemmings can fall through. Yeah, I'm right to hope. Okay, now we need to scoop our way down in this direction. I'm gonna hit that, but that's fine. That gave me just the level I needed to scoop in this direction. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we suddenly have a problem, but that's okay. With copious use of every flavor of explosive. Uh-oh. Oh god, this is actually becoming a problem. I have two more explosives. All right, let's try our best here. I need to get over in this direction first. I think this is gonna work, but I will try my damnedest. Point blank mortar. Uh, oh, I don't have mortar. Uh oh. Uh, this is what one could call a problem. Bang. Okay, I think I have now officially failed. It was close, but. Wasting one scooper cost me everything there. But, the strategy is sound. You always have 40 more explosives, that is true. Could you have roped up at the end? Roped up, I needed to rope down. Uh, I could have made a rope to turn them all around by roping up, but it wouldn't have been fast enough to save them. I swear there's a delay on how fast you can select one of these guys. But since we know all the uh, all the moving parts here, all we need to do is just do what we did again without the copious amount of missing my shots. Always aim the rope or higher than you think you need it. Oh, unless it's here, in which case, don't overshoot. That looks like it undershot. It did, just barely. I can give it another shot, maybe a little higher. And even if that doesn't look good, I can still... I 
much as I love that roper, I have a miserable time. Whoa, 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 crumbs. Mistakes were made. I still have one last shot at this. I locked onto the wrong lemming, and that was a poor choice. Right, once again, filler should save me from my crimes here. Uh, not if it just goes down like that. That's not... Oh, but somehow he still got up. I'll take it, though. Hope that filler doesn't come back to bite me. Right, two explosives down here rather than scooping. Or actually, you know what? Scooping might be the better idea. The explosives are at least a bit more malleable. He says, uh, don't get stuck down there, laddie. Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Gosh, looking at this, if I just positioned my tools a little better, I think I would have been an easy street. Along you go, and you can really just scoop your way to victory now. And with that, I can free up my lemmings risk-free by using a spare fencer. There we go. They'll all come out here. Goodness, digging through all that snow brings back a lot of childhood memories. Nothing quite like snow falling and getting a week off of school because you are very literally snowed in. Yeah, the filler fluid mechanics are great. They hurt quite a bit on the game's optimization, but that's fine. Also, you cannot use a second liquid filler thing if one is still moving. All right, turn back. Platformers, throwers, runners, fillers, stompers, clubs, attractors, and jumpers, but not much of anything except for the jumpers. Some, uh, most of the skills are redundant. Some of the levels do require you to use every tool you have. Feels a lot less redundant that way, right? So, coming down here looks like a lot of trouble, especially without a glue pourer. Do we have anything that we can get down with? Yeah, we kinda do. Hmm, I have an idea already. But it might not be a very good one, huh? <laughs> yeah, there's a slight problem with what I wanted to do. So my initial idea was if I turned my lemmings around quickly and then blocked them off in here, I could stomp my way straight down to victory. The problem is there's no wall on this side, so 50% of them would walk out left and die. And I don't have a cunning solution for that. It's very tempting the way it has that, though. Even if we stomp down to here and clubbed over here, I don't have another way to go downwards. There's only one stomper. Do the rocks stop you? The rocks that I can throw, yes, they can stop and turn around a lemming. But let's play it straight. If we walk over here, we're going to come down and down and down and down and down and down some more and over here. Then they're going to fall over here, bounce back and die. I could bridge over, this would cost all three of my bridges, and I could club through you, and then this becomes a problem, which is not ideal. So... What I could do is send one lemming on his own over here. He can jump over this, club through that, and build a three-platform thing over here. And then throw a rock that lands here to stop lemmings from walking over that way to their death. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, that works. To a degree. How do I stop the lemmings from all going this way? Why, with a rock, of course. Sure looks like it to me, Salty Tempest. Alright. 
I'm gonna solve it like this. Huh. That will prevent all the lemmings from going in that direction. You're just gonna keep on legging it, sunshine. I'll need to remember to give you some instructions shortly. Boy, the timing is tight here, so you need to be doing all that, and I need to nail a lemming rock throw here as well, so that it lands about there. But the trajectory is incredibly hard to gauge. Not to mention I gotta do it while this guy continues to walk around and cause me grief. So pretty much from this point I need to start considering it. Alright, so tell you what, we're going to use our mod cons. If I go for rock throw on you right now, where does that end up? And let me do a bit of mental remembering. I did you right at the corner there. I need it very far to the left, but not too far. Tricky, isn't it? Oh, well, mistakes were made for you. You're already dead. But that gives me an opportunity to see how this rock lands. Wow, do rocks just cease to exist if they go off screen? What about from here? Uh, not good because they're walking over that. Okay, so we need to figure out our angles a little better. Preferably in a manner in which you survive. Are you going to just jump over that? Oh, 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 he doesn't know what he's doing. Maybe I can jump you out of there whilst I figure out my rock throwing ways. How about from here? That's pretty much a left line out from the top of that red rock. That looks pretty good. Uh, it's not good enough though. Uh, okay, so perhaps here. Well, that's just two rocks. That's cheating. Also, I don't have another rock to spare. So I'd really need to get it done in one, but let's imagine that this brilliant solution worked and the other guy is busy doing all his work on the other side. My grand plan was to stomp through here. Obviously I wouldn't do it until all the lemmings had been released, so I don't have some of them falling to their grim demise here. Ugh, ugh, ugh indeed. And then, well, 50% of them go to the right, 50% of them go to the left. But the magic is that there'd be a rock right here preventing them from going over there because this guy would be throwing it during his. All right, that's a little uh, horrifically precise. But it looks like it would function. Why are there still 10 lemmings somewhere? There's not. The, there's one lemming. How do I get you out of this conundrum? Can I just lock onto you and jump whenever you can? Maybe I should have you platform out and then run and jump, save ourselves half of this problem. Because it does look like a considerable problem, and I don't need to platform all the way across this anyway. Or so I hope. It also buys me a bit of time. Alright, that's my plan. Oh, hang on, I don't, I don't need to do that. We've got to save right here. But timing is everything. Oh. That's good-ish. Now, where in God's name do I throw this ball, or rock, or snowball, where it prevents movement to the left, but isn't too far? I'm gonna try you. <laughs> I need it to actually not go off screen. And I think that's a problem. Yeah, because they keep going over that. What is the position on this thing, then?
How about here? Okay, I should have made note of where that was. A little further down, perhaps between those two notches there. No, it keeps going off screen. Hmm. Hmm. What if we didn't bother with the rock? We instead used the evervescent powers of the attractor. He's going to play his saxophone or what have you. That way I don't need to be precise here whatsoever. You look like you're in a delightfully bad situation, so I'm going to just... Uh, oh, crumbs. Oh, double crumbs, right. Yeah, of course, you're going to run off of that. Well, that's fine. I can just make you continue to bridge across. Let's get attracting again. The attracting's easy to break out of using jumps. Nothing to worry about. As if we'd worry. Right, one more of these, please. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or something. Ah, oh, jeez, okay, that running is doing me more harm than good. Should have never made you a runner, huh? Okay, well, lessons are being learnt. I don't think I need this filler, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you fill, and then we're going to do this. That way it would break you out, land you here, and then we'll continue over. Haha. -ha. Running is great, but as you can see, it can really cause some problems. Now I reckon here I need to platform you. and then jump onto this and the next bit. But the big question is, how in God's name do I get the rock where I need it to be? I'm not so sure I can, actually. I might have scuppered myself here. Hmm, I'm gonna play around with this a bit and see what can be done. Oh, Krivens, he, he runs with the rock, I didn't know that. He doesn't stand still to, plan, uh, to plant it. Okay, that makes this a big problem then. Hmm. Maybe he should never have been a runner to begin with. Oh, pause for pause. The symbol finally makes sense after all these years. It certainly does. All right, what in the world can I do then? I don't think this plan is sound anymore. I do like the idea of releasing all the lemmings to stomp down here and get to the exit, but evidently it's a problem. However, if I very precisely got them down here, I think the only problem would be the ones going out to the right, and that is a problem that I can deal with. Or rather, I don't see why I couldn't. My main concern is that runner. I just need to not have a bleeding runner. So we're going to restart this and not have our first guy run. Then we'll be on easy street, right? Might get a little testy using all those jumpers, but that should be okay. Where did I throw the rock such that I nailed it? I can't remember. And now I'm going to have to try my luck at a bunch of different stone throws. How about here, right in the crevice? No, no, I threw it from here, I remember, right on the... Right on that moment. All right, all right. I know everything I need to know then. We have all the information we need. Go, stone. And then we get one lemming to jump over this. Whee! The stone blocks all the others. And you are going to lock all the lemmings into position with a heartfelt Christmas tune. And now you are going to jump your way across here. Boy, I should really just set up a quick key for quick save. How's this jump going to work without runner? 
quite well. Uh, oh, okay, well, you know, it was almost quite well. Oh, man, <laughs> come on, you were on that, laddie. And I do not want to use any of my platformers here. Well, this level is already more difficult than all of the shadow levels put together. I'm starting to think this can't be done. Not without platforming. But I don't want to platform here. I really don't want to platform here. What could be done to... Well, I could, you could run and jump at the last bit, but I don't want you to be a runner. with this situation. Can that jump even be made? If you can get him a little bit up on the snowman and club through it would act as a blocker for any who go right at the bottom. Yeah, I was considering that. I could also just use a stone. I was also considering clubbing into the wall part here, just to create a flat surface to bounce back on, because I should have a spare clubber. But my lemming here doesn't want to go just quite high enough. And I evidently have difficulty with making him into a runner. Why, why did I do that? We didn't, we didn't need him jumping that early. Hmm... All right, maybe jump with the most altitude you can. Oh, hey, that was kind of close. The problem is he loses height and altitude in pretty much equal measure. Now, this is starting to feel like Lemming's one levels of precision. Just keeps slipping off of there, though. Hmm. And I really don't want to use a platformer. Could I get away with it, though? No, because I'd need one platformer, two platformer, three platformer. I only have three. Is there an alternative way to make a block here? Yeah, there is kind of. There is kind of. If I did a really well-placed stone here... Uh, hmm. No, I'm not, I'm not convinced I could do this would glue from the bit that you first jump from go straight across. It's not glue, it's filler, which is a very different ability. Filler just keeps moving along and fills in cre uh, crevices. Glue goes out in a straight line. Gosh darn. Hmm. What a doozy. What do I do here? Let's assume I did platform across instead. I could jump once, platform here. Club through you. Then what would I do? I'd platform once, platform twice. I'd try my hand at throwing stones in two different locations here to lock it in. And then I could jump my way across. Could work. Probably wouldn't work, but it could. I, I guess I'll give it a go. We haven't explored this opportunity. Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? And suddenly, now that he was a useful, productive member of society, all of the other reindeer loved him. Got some uh, collateral damage done with the club there. I worry a little bit about the positioning of this. I worry a lot about the positioning of this, but uh, oh, crikey, let's, uh, let's not make too many mistakes here, shall we? I guess we can see how this plays out. I don't think it'll be great, though. I'm too high up to launch good stones. 
the trajectory is going to smash right into these, so I really don't think this is going to work. How many more levels of this song are there? I don't know, six maybe? Alright, where does this stone go? That's a big question. Launch it over and see how it lands. <laughs> it doesn't even land where I need it, it's too high. However, the trajectory looked quite good. Absolutely looked quite good. Gosh, it is tough. It'll go faster if we think up a daring solution as well. Oh, while I'm at it, I should make sure that my solution for this works. Who's playing the music? You are. Cease that. I need everyone over here before this becomes a deadly fall. I think I might be a little too late for that. Wow, they all survived. Well, who knows? I, I might get the miraculous 50-15. Oh, hang on, hang on. I just had an amazing, amazing idea. There is a way. There is a... A way to turn these lemmings around. Kind of. I want them going out to the left from here, no doubt. Because if they go right, they're dead. So, 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 so. So sure this is gonna work. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Hmm. Hmm. do in this situation. It'd be a lot easier if I didn't have to use this platform here. If I had three platforms, I could make a platform here for them to walk across and then turn them around. But I can't think of a way to get my other lemming across this without using that plat- Ah, ah, hold on, hold the phone here, but what if I jumped him, ran and jumped? I was scared of making a runner because of my need to throw down that boulder, but now if I don't need the boulder and I can turn them around here, the situation changes considerably. Alright, alright, I think I'm onto something now. I think I'm onto something quite good. So, I still have you over here. You guys are still dancing your eternal lemming dance over there. So... Timing on this is going to be aggravatingly precise, but we jump you here, mid-air, we make you a runner, and then, while you're here, you jump your way across, and then you boulder smash through here. Now, my follow-up question is how do I turn the lemmings around when they're going this way? A boulder smash into this would work. And a runner could get ahead of the group to do that. Ha <laughs> ha Game, set, and a oh, bollocks. Okay, well, he's going to go and die. But anyway, the solution is clear. How does that help? Oh, you'll see, saith. I guess some of us just have more lobes. I don't think I hit you with that. Ah, man, the timing on this is rough as all sin. 
That famous phrase, go in game set and bollocks. <laughs> I guess we just say it differently back home. Get over there. Clump. Okay, now that I made that one, I'm definitely saving that. It's going to be very precise getting our friend uh, up top going through the stomper without killing them as well. That's a very good position for that. Well, it actually might be bad depending on how the clubber performs, but let's worry about that in due time. I don't even need to worry about any precision with you. If you just complete this, um, this platform, we're all good. You can happily run to the exit. Do, 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 do. Alright, good, 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 good. Right, this is very good. I even have plenty of time. So now I need one of you guys to jump out of here. Right, I'll remember it's that guy in the apex right there. Then you stop playing your funky tune. You jump out of here. I want to make absolutely sure that we don't have any poor people falling to their death. And right here, I want you stomping. Right here. Good, good, good. Very good. Shouldn't be any deadly falls from these guys. One guy broke his spine, but that's okay. When you fall out from here, those going left will end up in... Well, where they need to be. The trouble, of course, is the ones... Ah! No! It was one pixel too far to the right! Ah, okay. Alright. Don't, don't worry about it, though. All we need to do is make it one more pixel to the not right. Who was it? Was it you? Alright, good. So, break you out, have you jump over here, and this time we will pixelate it over to the left a bit better. I only got one stomper, no do-overs for this. When you're in just a little to the left of this, go for it. Go for it! Good, still blocks them in. Won't those going to the right still die? Ah, you see, that's the difference in the folds of our grey matter speaking right there. Uh, I'm a little worried that this is too far over to the left now. One pixel too far left. I guess we'll find out soon enough. I need my one clubber here. The hope is that nobody dies going over to the left here. And all the ones going over to the left die. Okay, but let's imagine that didn't happen. I also want to make sure that this isn't a solution either. No, heavens no. But the glorious plan was that you would run ahead and club this. And now, uh, okay, tell you what, only do one club or else you destroy the bridge behind you. You fail to break out of doing that and then you, you know, turn around and everything would be great. Alright, so I really think the solution is here. Well, a solution is here. Just, uh, just gotta get this pixel-perfect placement. Alright, alright. God, I am stacking up this save game positions for this one. Get it right here. Alright, is that gonna work, or is that gonna be a problem? Meow. Ah, okay. The, the dreaded one pixel off again, huh? Okay, okay. Okay, how about here? Now go for it. Wee. <laughs> Oh, what is a man meant to do? Hang on, hang on, I just had an even better idea. I wonder if I can make it work. Mm, no, because I think this would be a deadly fall. 
But what if it were not? You see, if all the other lemmings were down here, then this guy could jump down with impunity and then they'd be walking out from this side and heading left. Trouble is, how do they get over this? And I think they might be able to, actually. Let's do a quick um, idea. They can get over that. All right, all right, all right. We have an idea, and it's a really good one this time. Hold on, they're not going to fall off the edge here, are they? Oh yeah, they absolutely are. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Gosh, there's just no end to the problems, are there? <sighs> How can I prevent their movement here as well? I can I don't have my clubber anymore. <laughs> What's a man to do on this accursed level? Like I said, this one level is harder than all of the uh, all the levels we played yesterday. Maybe it's just because there's a vital solution that is evading me. All right, make your way down. Oh, hey, that might be the magic pixel I was looking for. Anything's possible, right? I wanted this last time after all. Maybe there's something I can do with them here to make everything work out even better. And you know what? There might just be. He's just about to get through that part, so what if I introduce them over here? Well, it was 20 of them saved, 21 of them saved, but evidently not enough. And I think if they just fall willy-nilly, there are going to be some of them that end up going left and dying. No! No! Oh god, we've got it! We have got it! It was the magic pixel! Okay, right. So you, and this is very important, are going to club this, fill this, and everybody bounces back around. That was my glorious solution, and it was all down to that one single pixel that doesn't quite collide with the steel. There we go. So that, saith, is what separates you from I. Ah, man, I am really looking forward to watching a 100%, preferably tool-assisted run of all Lemmings levels and seeing what the solution there is. Because I got no idea how to otherwise handle that level. You have so few tools to work with and a lot of ground to cover. All right, slipping, sliding, five minutes. And I think I saw some skaters there. Why is there a Scottish flag on the igloo? That's the City Hall of Aberdeen. <laughs> Aberdeen's got some pretty impressive architecture. I guess you could call it the not being bombed into the Stone Age during World War II magic. Okay, not really seeing the problem here so far. I don't have a lot of destruction. I've got two bombers, but that's alright. They can come along here, drop down, drop down here. I can easily platform over this. We walk along, we walk along. This looks like a deadly fall to me, almost certainly, but that's okay. I can have a runner jump across here and build a platform that stops it being a deadly fall. Uh, and that doesn't work because of this. But I have a 
extremely cunning plan to deal with that. First thing I need is not a runner, but a jumper. Because jumping is faster than walking. So if you just get that done... Ooh, hey, I've got an archer as well. I love using archery. Archery is an even better solution to this problem. Okay, great. Great! Alright, so you, now that you've beaten your colleagues to getting to this location, platform across so it's not so deadly. And then you are going to be a runner. Oh, crumbs. I should have made the other guy. I'm going to delay you by smacking your head. Do, 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 do. Uh, are you going to need to jump here? Pr yes, definitely yes. Didn't think he'd need to jump. He needed to jump. Okay, but let's imagine that didn't happen to you. Here's our trailblazer. Also imagine the people that uh, fall and die below him aren't falling and dying. Look at that. We prevented a deadly fall. And then you just need to platform across. Easy money every time. Everybody gets to enjoy the Scottish igloo. But that wasn't good enough, so let's blow them up. Seek perfection. It was a feeble effort. Oh, come now. I was hoping I'd get the message about them being lonely because I rescued so few of them. Yeah, poor runner. Could have saved them, but didn't. Uh, tell you what, rather than do all this, sh all these shenanigans, what I can do is I can use a builder and a bomber to advance things better. You could even say it glows like a something something. And you're gonna block them in insufficiently, because now I got these guys. You need to run, laddie. And you need to delay yourself a lot. Whee! Right, this is quite important. Throw that there. Okay, this might work. As long as I blow that up, we're all okay. I only have one jumper, huh? I might have caused myself some havoc here, but that's okay. Because what I can do is I can make you just delay yourself. You break your spine. You also break your spine. First one up. No! Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, that was real close, but uh, the input for making that guy a platform was overridden by the previous guy that I made an archer. Good idea, though. Great idea, even. Alright, but that did open my eyes to an even simpler solution for the same level. Question is, can I turn my lemmings around at the very start, or is that a faux pas? It is absolutely not a faux pas. Now, how many lemmings do I need to trailblaze? One... He's still fine. Okay, all I need is one trailblazing lemming and we're good to go. Perfecto. In that case, first lemming here is going to just shoot an arrow straight up. Straight up. Okay, that's kind of bad, but okay. So I'm going to blow you up. Pew! Oh, that might have been a mistake. Oh god, that might have been a mistake! He'll turn around, so that, that, that actually helped me a little bit. Kind of. Ish. Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Alright, this is a good bit of delay. Good. 
I can delay the other guy with a stacker as well if the need arises. Alright, build, and you can make your way with a simple jump. Whee! Alright, the trail is blazed. And you're fine, and all we need to do is very carefully, without killing anyone, get rid of this arrow. And I killed five people. Okay, right, so what have we learned from that? Put the arrow much further over to the right. Still a feeble effort, you say. Hmm, yeah, that might be right. Pretty sweet idea, though. Wonder if I'd be alright making the first guy a runner. Is that a problem? Wasn't it a problem getting him over here? I think it was, but getting him to jump along seems pretty good. Jump, jump, jump. And then arrow this. Alright, that's pretty great. It's gonna stop everybody and it shouldn't make us explode people over to the tree and kill them. Because going off screen is dying in Lemmings 2. It is not in Lemmings 1. In Lemmings 1, they just bounce back. Alright. Time to leg it. Whee! Such a nice touch that runners who do activities do them, well, better, I guess. Follow the reindeer, loved him. Something, something, something else. Alright, that's fine. So the whole solution is done. All I need to do... Why did, Why were we given skaters? Were there any slippery surfaces in this whole level? I don't spy a single one. And isn't the level called Slip and Slide? Or am I imagining that? Alright, so let's, let's not... Uh, Go through any horrors here. We just go kaboom. They don't land on the tree to the left and they don't kill themselves. Happy days for these lemmings. Glad I didn't have to use the rocks either. Whew, I was so close to a deadly fall, but that one little lip I made with the arrow makes all the difference. Pretty sure that's the intended use of archery in the game also. You get a lot of archers in the sports levels and I feel like that's its intended use. Alright, next up. Well, Pandy, maybe someone is also going to stream Lemmings 2, but they're going to stream the PC Amiga version so we can all see the differences. Four exploders on this level. I do not like the implication there. I really don't like the implication here, and I've got my least favorite ability, the amazing Magno Boots. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's immediately do some science. I want to know if I can get out of here without exploding. And that would require some fencing here. The answer is maybe. The answer is no. Hmm, I don't like that. Okay, what do we have to look at this level? Not a pair of eyes, but where are we going? Right, Scottish Igloo is over here. A very obvious use of two platformers to get us over there, so we cannot use the platformers elsewhere. What do you want me to do, game? Hmm not thrilled at the implications here. What happens when the lemmings reach here? Do they go through or not? I'm guessing absolutely not. Sorry, lemming, you died because I couldn't time well. Or well enough, at least. Oh, wow, you're still not getting through. Okay, come on then. So they bounce back from there. 
And then how do they how do they phase through this? Do they phase through it? They do not. They bounce back to certain death. Can we make that death less certain? <laughs> not with throws like that. Huh. Well. Do we have alternatives? Oh, crumbs. Well, the situation just got even worse. However, imagine a situation in which I get the lemmings from the left to the right. I'm having a hard time imagining it, but... Yeah, I really can't see it. Um... Hmm. Sorting through that could bring you guys over here. You bounce back, you fall down here. You just need this thing gone, or even just platformed over a little bit. And then we can get through that. Yeah, you know, single platform here and they're all safe. Provided they get over here, and a jumper could trailblaze it. The problem, of course... Hmm, is it a problem? Because I could use the other platformer here. But then they can't get over this lip, this is too high for them. Hmm... Ah... <sighs> I think I have to use two explosives to get you guys out here, and then two explosives to get you out of there. But then what about this? I need another explosive. That's even worse. I could spare myself one sword, I suppose. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. I wouldn't exactly call this the best stream ever, LTC Prime. But it is a stream. It is one of the streams ever. Okay, this is a real nugget scratcher. If you have a solution here that does not involve killing four lemmings, I would love to hear it, because my current solution kills at least three of them. Oh, I get two fencers! Right, that simplifies matters ever so slightly. I still think I need to explode on this. And I think I could explode by using the amazing Magno boots and coming around and exploding from this side to let them out over here. Really wish I could get them over here, but I can't see how that can be done. One sword could get these guys out of here. So one sword, da 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 da. And one platform saves all the lemmings on the right-hand side. So let's imagine we have one platform and one sword to save the others. Well, actually, that one platform makes this a problem. Because to save the guys on the left, I need to get them over to the right. That doesn't look feasible. But what if it were? Dang, if I could just get them over here. The first tool is the Magno Boots. It makes someone stick to a... You know what, seeing is believing. There. Moves very slow, but can traverse any obstacle. The big caveat here is that you cannot stop them unless they are standing upright, horizontally. I can't make him do a platform, I can't make him be a fencer, but the one thing I can do is kill him with an explosive. I don't know, blew someone over there at least. Boy, it would be glorious if I could just get these guys over this gap, but how? Even if I put some kind of weird platforming magic on this, they just turn around. That's almost enough, actually. If I spent both of my platforms, I think I could get them over here. I would use my amazing boots to destroy a little bit of this, and then put the double platform on here. But I'd still need another platform for this, and evidently we're short on those. There's another thought about my throwers. Can't think of anything they can do to assist this, though. Hmm. Hmm. 
tough, real tough. Don't like mandatory deaths of my lemmings. Although it could be that they're developer intended. If you get the gold star at the end of it and number one on the podium, then yeah, it was intended, but I don't like the implications of that. Gosh, diddly darn, what can be done here? The only way out is exploding through this once or once with a fencer or twice, but I hate the implication. So they're gonna come down here and then they go through all sorts, and plus I need my fencer to get out of here, or another exploder. Exploder makes more sense. And then just come down here and need a couple of things coming over here, and then you need two exploders to get out. Ugh, I don't like it. That doesn't put the Magno boots to any use. If you can remove the snow from the right ledge, could you throw a stone and make a step for them so they can get over? I don't think so. Any stone here would cause them to stop moving more than anything else. I'm going to make a save here so I don't need to keep reloading uh, the whole level. A stone from there? Oh god, no chance. What about a stone from here? Well, there's that, but I just blocks them. What if the stone were just a little bit closer? How about even closer? What if it were extremely close? What if it was also augmented with a single platform? Kinda cool, but uh, maybe not cool enough. Hmm. I don't think that's what we're looking for. Well, some more interesting solutions come from total lemming death. Some levels in Lemmings 1 required you to sacrifice so many for so few. Hmm. Let's play it straight then. Let's at least figure that one out. Pop, pop, sword, platform, platform, and you guys... All you need is one sword. So can we get this done with two lemming deaths? Oh god, what about the timing? Well, that could not have been much worse on the timing, but maybe, just maybe. Oh, that might be the magic pixel. Oh, so Crivens, look at him go. Yeah, that was magic pixel. Okay, can I put you to any amazing use? Yeah, nothing comes to mind. I wish I had a runner to just speed this poor guy up a bit. But I do have jumpers, and jumpers are faster. Hops a daisy. Don't kill yourself now, but do get a move on. A lot of lemmings are counting on you to live. Just get us through this. I know I'm asking a lot for you, but could you please jump and not die? I dare not jump you again. You'd probably die. Get over here so you have the fewest steps that you have to go through. Mm. 
Oh crap. Ah, damn. I locked on by accident. Well, four lemmings died that totally didn't have to. Anyway, assuming that that was okay, you guys can just get out like so. I could have delayed a lemming with the amazing magno boots and another two with stone throwing and then the fourth one could have just jumped over. Well, tell you what, we're going to rescue 36 lemmings. What if that's the gold standard? By god, 36 is actually developer intended, but I think we can do better. We can get this done with two deaths. I am not going to settle for anything less than the lowest possible amount of dead lemmings. And if you have a solution that only kills one lemming, or god forbid zero, I'd love to hear it. I didn't save after I popped through this, did I? Eh, probably not. Right, where was it then? I think it was about here. Five, four, three, two, one, pop. Ooh, wow. That was good. That was really good. And that's also really good, because this guy's got a good head start on you. Could I turn you around? Eh, not really. You really need to be faster than the competition, Chief. Get a chuffing move on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't like back breaking. That slows you down considerably. Santa came to say... Alright, how about you avoid a lot of this? Oh, that's actually quite bad. That's actually really quite bad. I need two of you to slow down. And one of you really slow down by using Magno, but... Oh... Well, that's regrettable. That is so close to getting through. Aggravatingly so. Oh, crumbs, I got the wrong one. It's alright, we'll get there. Now, I can't help but feel with ideal positioning you can blow through this with one lemming. Look how close it is. Maybe by using the amazing boots and exploding right here, you get through all of it. What do you think? Do you think that's possible? I think it's worth investigating. I call them amazing magna boots, but they are anything but. What is the magnetic property of ice? Okay, well that was... Aeons too early. Five, four, three, two. Well, that was still too early. Holy moly. Alright, go there then. Five, four, three, two, one. You're right against it. Oh, okay. Wow, that is awful, actually. <laughs> I think the center of the explosion is in a far different place when they're using their amazing Magno boots. Three, two, one. Okay, I really couldn't have gotten much closer there and it wasn't good enough. Oh, that was pretty good for you. I mean, sure, it's a shame about you breaking your bits, but you've got a good advantage on all the other ones. And this time I'm actually going to save while I'm here. Just get through this as quickly as you can. This laddie here is going to slow down by throwing a rock and then throwing another rock. Inconsequential, but it's all about speeding you up. You're going to build through this, and as soon as it's done, I'm going to jump you out of this. Uh, is that done enough? It is done enough. Get moving. And I will not be caught dead or being wrong. Easy does it now. Okay, I don't even need to jump these guys. We're all good. All I need to do now is get a perfect swordsmanship here. And you can all come and join in. And there it is. Two dead lemmings. I am very... Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I know the I know the mistake that I made. I know what it was. Alright. So I thought I'd be clever and just speed it up, and then everything would be okay. Oh, I don't want to be here. I want to be here. Uh, because I didn't complete my little platform that I made earlier on, the lemmings actually fell through walking from right to left, the final batch. Forgive me, lems. I sinned. Also, I didn't slow the other guy down with rocks this time. Slowing down with rocks is good. Lob rocks, my friend. Okay, I guess it's still good. It's more that the platform was more necessary than I gave it credit for. I don't think I need any of you to jump. That final platform is A-OK. -okay. Now we have everything that we need. Now I can just speed up and super speed up. And look how happy they are to be visiting Arctic Scotland. Okay, so two deaths. Again, if you know of a way to kill just one or even zero, I want to hear it. But I'm not hearing it, so onwards we go. The only way to save everyone is making the fencing trick work on the left. Yes, but... Hold on, let me, let me go back and highlight why that still wouldn't save it. Even if, uh, even if the fencing got through this no problem, we still have this to get through. Which, co which could be done in one explosion. I will give you that. So why don't we... Why don't we try that, actually? How low can this fencing go? Mm. Not convinced. I'll try it one more time. Just because it's you, Orlov, I mean, honestly. I'd walk over hot coals for Orlov. Then again, after all the DDR I've played, I've got asbestos feet. It'd probably feel quite soothing. And I try the fencing from the very lowest pixel that I can, which is here. Ah, oh, what a tease. Fencing only goes up by one pixel for every many pixels, so it's pretty good, but... What if we could drive that just a few pixels more to the left? I think it's worth a go. Pretty much when the, the, the front of his little lemmingy tootsie toes are on top of the first pixel of snow, I'm going to try it. And this is my last attempt. If this doesn't do it, then we're just moving on with 38 lemmings. It's still gold standard. But the idea of saving just one more lemming feels worth sacrificing lives of hundreds for. Let's go indeed. There! Nah. Nah, the extra pixel of height actually just makes him hit the steel a little faster. Regrettable, but I have no further idea on how to do this level, so goodbye, Lems. And Darius is saying that the theme tune to the song is now lodged in his head, which I find greatly amusing. This is kind of sad, down here in the bottom left we see that we're down to just 38 little lemmings. The three big ones indicate ten lemmings each, and then eight of the wee ones. Anyway, it's all uphill. I couldn't help but notice that you gave me miners. Miners don't mine up. Twisters twist up, but that's not good enough. So there's Scotland at the very top. Hmm, I got a lot of builders. I can certainly build across here. But we have a lot of height to gain. And we start pretty much at the very bottom, so what are we thinking about? That one roper is going to be vital, I can feel it. Build one. Build two. Kablooey up here. Build four. Hmm. 
Climber comes up, jumps twice to avoid exit, gets over here, glues across. Hang on, hang on, I got a miner here. He mines down, flamethrowers out. Hey, now we're talking. Doesn't even need to jump twice, just once is fine then. Okay, alright, we have our solution already. We're just that freaking good. Let's go. Ah, and Darius, I just mentioned you about uh, having this game's theme tune in your head. And to the great amusement of, well, me. That shouldn't be a deadly fall. It's not, it's just a spine tingling sensation. Alright, how does this cannon work? That cannon of yours is not against regulation, however, I am going to need to seal the lemmings in here or else I'm going to eat throughput problems. So... I might actually use the roper here to seal them in rather than the glue. Ideally I'd use both, but... Roper just seems... Is there any other better use for the roper? Over here I can use my stairways, I'd rather just rope them in. Alright. There we go. Now that roper is just to stop the... Ah, oh, crumbs. Okay, didn't work the way I wanted it to. They bash off the roper. I would have done well to remember that. But I didn't. I'm not going to risk any uh, continuation with this. Okay, we are going to use glue instead of roping then. Luckily, the tune went away with some Xenonauts Night Mission theme. Did you beat the Night Mission? I had to duck out before it ended. Yeah, Night Missions are horrible in Xenonauts. They're awesome because they're so tense, but you are given no extra reward for doing them, which makes the whole situation feel rather thankless. And Xenonauts is a thankless enough game without more of that stacked on top. Doom, do, doom, do, doom, do, doom, do, doom, do, doom, do. Yeah, the cannon throughput was a real problem back in the clown levels, so I'm absolutely certain it's going to be a problem here as well. That is such a cool shot. How are we going to get across there? I guess that means I'll save my roper for the other side, but that could lead to risks. But honestly, who's afraid of risks? Not this guy. important thing is that the glue gets applied here. Actually, that glue seems almost unnecessary. Well, it might come down to timing, and it might become extremely necessary, actually. Alright, there we go. Now they are sealed in for good. Now I need a rock climber. Rock climbing is cool because you can even climb inverted surfaces like that. Inverted? It's not the right word, but you know what I'm trying to say. Avoid the exit. Jump down, bounce back, and get mining, my friend. Do you think mine faster as a runner? I don't think he cares. Alright, this should be fine. So I'm going to just go wee and look at him go. And then, because time is of the essence, I'm going to flamethrower my way through the rest of this. Uh, making him a rock climber shouldn't get him killed. There are still lemmings coming up. That is of middling concern, actually. What I probably should have done was lock them in on this side, but uh, I guess a roper would have handled that pretty well, huh, wouldn't it? Or two builders. Tell you what, that's exactly what I think I will do. 
Tell me that doesn't block you. It doesn't block you. Okay, good. Because those guys are the main throughput uh, pressure and not these guys, that's why I'm going to build here instead of roping. I was planning on roping here, but... There we go. Now I have two minutes to wait on the guys down here. I will make... Oh, I don't have runners for them. Well, I can always jump if speed is of the true essence, but I think we are safe as houses. Nobody left behind. We gained a lot of altitude in this level. This isn't just Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, isn't this Frosty the Snowman? But I don't know the words to that. The only Frosty thing I have in my head is that TV advert for Mr. Frosty is such fun, he makes treats for everyone. Or that damn uh, ice cream machine. Alright. Lovely jubbly. Two lemmings may have died, but 38 march on to what I assume is the next and final level. If I finish up here and don't get a gold, then that's tragic. Stay frosty, lots of floaters, but not a lot of anything else. Notably, though, I get the twister. Unless this level has a lot of steel or gaps, it's over before we already know it. It has a metric butt-ton of steel. Clearly this level is also getting ready for Avorion. I want to start the Avorion multiplayer so much. <laughs> it almost hurts, I just really want to play Avorion. Okay, we have minor issues, which I'm pretty certain I can fix. Actually, I have a pretty devilish idea on how to fix some of these issues. Okay. So there's obviously some problems over here, but the problems can be glued away, kind of, ish. But what if I were to ignore the whole level and just take this route? Because we could just get through this fall down to victory. Looks amazing, doesn't it? If only it were possible. What if it were possible? So we're gonna play a, a little tune on our giant horn thing. I'm going to break you out of the trance by forcing you to jump. And then this is gonna be a little tight and there's no guarantee it'll work, but I'll give you the DDR Jake guarantee that it's amazing. Oh my god, that was perfect! Okay, great. Now, please stop doing that. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. Actually, he'll stop even faster if I blow him downwards. Alright, now I need to Icarus wing you out of here. I forget, can you change the direction of Icarus wings? I think you can. Alright, that's the important part. Icarus and... Uh, okay, I need you to do that again, but properly. Okay, good, good-ish. Now go and join everybody else. Tell me you don't die by walking off to the other side. You do die by walking off. Okay, then uh, Icarus wing again! The other way, please. No, no, no. For the love of God, turn around. Okay, good, good, good. There's still a chance. Alright, alright. Now... I need you to glue this. The tiny little pixel that I made here ensured that the glue is going to go this way. And that is of vital importance. Now if I just keep adding glue to this, I should be in a situation where I can ascend. And ascend. And that is so much ascension that I can flambe my way towards the exit with impunity. Uh, that looks fine, but I'm just going to play it safe. Oh, I might have played it too safe. No! Oh, okay, right. So that is suddenly something that he's not going to bounce over. However, unlike G, we get a second chance. And that is to twister our way to glory. There we go. All right. Whew. And now all I need to do is stop the dancer from dancing. Excellent. Completely ignored this level. This is almost certainly not the intended solution. What do they want me to do? They wanted me to very delicately twister my way down here. 
glue over this, glue over this, and make my way to the end. So actually, I think I chose the much harder route, because as long as you have a steady hand for the twister, you could have easily navigated the steel. But you know what it's like. You see a level, or you see a puzzle, and you, you see, okay, they want me to do this. What if I don't do that? It's such a good feeling. Such a good feeling that I will surely be awarded with Giga -g gold Oh, thank God. I was ready for it to say silver. Right. Not too shabby. Two to go. We're doing both of them today. So the question is... I'm definitely saving after all that. What do we do first? The outdoors? Or the other one? What is the other other one? Oh, yeah, the caverns. So do you feel like caves? Or do you feel like trees? Ketsuzoku is in first with cave lem. Ketsu Ketsuzoku. Let's go into the cave uh, caverns then. Let's get the clubs out. So essential, get your clubs out. All right, the first level is always an easy one, so we'll just go straight in. All right, is that a deadly monster? Oh, whoa, okay, it's kind of like a cannon. And it doesn't seem to have throughput issues. Okay, cool. So my lemmings are immediately getting thrown over a lot. The exit's right there. I strongly suspect you're going to kill them if left to your own devices. So let us jump for victory. And jump some more. And that should be that. Yeah, I'm quite certain you would have launched my lemmings through that gap and into the abyss. And I'm not willing to figure out. Well, this really gives me Lost Vikings vibes. Okay, we don't need to hear them meowing so much, do we? There we go. Ultra fast forward. Alright, definitely earned myself a lovely drink after that. Hmm. Could this be a long-running theme of not affording me many tools? Stomper and Scooper. Let's go. You know, these primitive tools remind me of Medieval Dynasty. I sunk a few more hours into that, and I don't think I will sink any more. It's just not a fun game. I, I have tried very hard to like the game, but it just doesn't do anything. You're just gathering crap and grinding skills for very, very little payoff. Where are we even trying to go? Okay, we've got two destinations, but with very few ways of digging through. One dig, two dig, three dig, four dig, one stomp. Okay, how could this possibly be hard? Wait a second, I can see exactly how it could be hard. Maybe the lemmings don't congregate over in the center. That is exactly what happens. Okay, I see, I see. But that is A-OK, -okay because observe. All we need to do is make sure that they come together. And then, we don't split them up here. No siree, we do not split them up here. We bring them together. And we need to do that again. Alright, easy peasy. Easier than the magnum opus puzzle. And then I don't think it matters whether or not they split here, so we can happily just stomp through the center. Eh, let's not risk it. Let's uh, stomp through the side. Good lord. Right, so there is a magic pixel here preventing them from falling to their death. I should have thought about that before stomping through. If I were one meager pixel earlier, the lemmings from here would have fallen straight down to there and died. But that's okay. Luck generally has my back. 
I even keep a spare ability. In the Amiga version, this tune sounded like Shadow of the Beast's creepy music. Oh, I love that from Lemmings 1. Lemmings 1, I think, had better music than Lemmings 2. He also heard it less. Alright, Mortal Men doomed to die. Using the D word on Nintendo? Wow. DDR Luck, not DDR Jake. It's very important to me when I first made my handle that I wanted my real name in it. And then I thought, well, obviously Jake is going to be taken. What if I affix my favorite game to it, though? And thus DDR Jake was born. Right, I really do not like trampolines. So could we just avoid them? Couldn't I just build on top of this? Something like so. What is even the problem here? Forgive my ignorance, but was that meant to be a level? No, definitely not a ploy to attract the Germans. Don't know why they keep coming. Perhaps they just love the hate. Yeah, the hate is too strong, right? They're not a Dutch. Okay, again with the limited tools, again with a nearby exit. But there are two entrances here, and no bashers. A lot of digging, though. Great digging. The solution seems obvious, but let's let things play out a bit and see what happens. Because you're just going to scoop your way down here. Easy ozy. And then you're going to scoop your way through here. Even easier, Ozzy. So these guys are all fine. And then all you guys need to do is stomp your way to victory. With an important caveat. Do you think you could turn around and scoop this? Maybe so, maybe no. Some of them are going to go off to the right, though, which is a minor problem. Very minor. Oh, maybe not so minor. Okay, don't worry. I have a solution for this. First is to make you hop. Second is to make you hop. Oh god, there are a lot more of them than I thought. Okay, so they bounce back from there. In that case, perhaps there's even less to worry about. Don't think they're going to bounce back from here, though. That could be a problem. Depends if they're able to turn all the way around or not. And, of course, reascend this. If so, there were never any problems. Uh, they don't. But there's still almost never any problems. Uh, no, there's a problem. Hmm. Could have scooped down here and been better. Okay, yeah, I scuppered these poor lemmings. Bye-bye, lemmings. Still have an idea on how to do that, though. That was a reasonably good go! Yeah, but reasonably good is not good enough game. It's gold or bust. So another idea I have is that before I let these guys go, I'm going to have my final lemming from the left hand side stomp through the bottom, come through here, and... Hmm, but then he'll be stuck at the bottom, won't he? Hmm. Even so... Even so... 
I could have him stomp through, turn around, scoop this out, platform to turn around, and then rope her up to there. I appreciate that might not be very clear. But it's still my glorious idea. We should have the time for this. So, just going to wait for the last lemming. And thinking about it, he doesn't even he does not even need to stomp through there, does he? He can stomp through here. And then create a roper for you. And then I realize another error of judgment that I have made. And that's that I needed him to turn around first, but I might be able to rectify this. Anything's possible. For example, what if I were to do this? Almost. Still a bunch of them going this way. However... How many of you are there? There are seven of you. That's a problem. Well, that could be a problem. What's going to happen when you run into this? Okay, still something resembling a problem, but... Okay, how's that? Ah, it's not quite good enough. Oh, that's even worse. They're somehow stuck in there themselves. Okay, hmm, finally. Bit of a doozy level, huh? I still had the solution, I just didn't turn my other guy around fast enough. Passable effort. Try harder. I will, game. Didn't I do better than the supposedly reasonably good effort? These are the Cave Lems, Baron. Cave Lem, I think level four. Not a, not a hard level, I'm just making it look hard. Got a bit of a problem right now where I'm making all of the levels look far too easy. People are gonna think I'm playing an easy game for children. Not a game from the origin of Nintendo Hard. There's our last wee lemming. So your job is to stomp down here, move around and turn around. While they're doing that, I'd quite like you guys to get ahead when I'm coming down. You know, come to think of it, couldn't you just... No, you need to save yourself. I was wondering why couldn't you just rope her from here to here? Then he would be stuck, and that is nay good. Nay so good. Right, now for the trick shot. And uh, just, just ignore this little text on the screen. It could mean anything. Okay, don't need to do that last bit. Bridge over, get back. Don't get stuck there. Now, rope your way to glory. And now we can release the others. Half the remain. Oh wow, they all ended up going to the right. Wow, imagine if they could have all gone to the left. Would have saved me a great deal of heartache. But they're gonna bounce on that little shoveled out hole and make their way to the exit. Easy. Now, how's that for getting good, Baron? By the way, Baron, the more I saw of your uh, pyramid design on Avorion, the more I think it might actually be legitimately good. Ignoring the maneuverability for one moment, it's really modular and it gives a lot of area to attack from if you position the turrets at the top. I liked it. This is the pits. It finally gives me the full two, four, six, eight abilities. It seemed to be working quite well by the end of the stream. That's a spirit. Unlike Ninjin wondering why his shield attacking weapons weren't tearing apart uh, Scavenge quite so well. 
I'm really looking forward to the Avorian MP. I just want to start it now, but no, I must relent. I said when I'd start it. Can't go ahead of time. Are these two different exits? Yeah, one to the far right and one to the left. How are they naturally going to go? La 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 la. What in the name of all that is mighty is stopping me just stomping through here and stomping through here? My instincts tell me literally nothing. Except one thing. But what if I didn't care? That's good, because that broke the limit. Oh, hang on, is that a dead end? Oh, it could be. That's a problem if it is. Uh, but let's just imagine that it's not a- WHAT THE HELL?! There are things in the deep! Scary. Okay. Okay. Well, not exactly okay, but, uh... Huh. I'm still in, but what mods will be on? I've got nine quality of life mods. Nothing in the game is reasonably going to change. The closest thing to not being quality of life is one uh, subsystem that just rolls a lot of other subsystems into one. It gives you better loot collection. It lets you uh, deep scan, just as all the things that you tend to hot switch in and out. It's called the Limited Adventuring app. Alright, well that was passable, but not by me. My standards are far, far, far higher than passable for this. I think I had the right idea, I just needed to avoid that very spooky uh, claw thing. Let's go indeed. So I think what I need to do is stomp this earlier. And then you are going to stomp here. All right, all right. And then... This might look like a problem, but not for you, because you're gonna... Ah, oh, crumbs, I missed one over here. Okay, but let's imagine that he lived. You guys are a slight problem, but not an insurmountable problem, because I can just do this. I need you to stop doing what you're doing, lad. Alright, so aside from that one lemming that I killed, we got them all. Alright, so just do exactly the same thing but save that lemming. It's a shame, it was a really good solution. Right, so, so this time you get stomping, you ignore it and stomp over here instead. Uh oh, uh oh, I've got a slight problem with you, but that's okay. Because I got a solution for you as well. Right, and now there are you two. One does that, the other. Uh, does that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, crumbs. Ah, uh, double crumbs, I think. Yeah, I forgot to do the guy at the bottom. Too slow, Jake, too slow. I'm starting to have another idea. What if we ignored the, uh... Ah, uh, crumbs. What if we started doing our digging after the scary monster? That's what I like. You can always add another layer to the pyramids. You go, oh, I don't have enough crew slots or my shields aren't big enough. Well, the next layer is going to be the crew and shield layer. Let's go. But what, must we really go? I have a funny feeling that I could have a much, much simpler solution. 
long as there are no more beasties willing to eat my lemmings. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Forget this so-called solution that I have right now. You're gonna be a trailblazer. Your job is entirely to play that annoying arcade game, Stacker. Tonk, 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 tonk. And then I want you to... Can we stomp to victory from here and have it be okay? I don't see why we couldn't. Heck, you could even do this. That way everyone's going to walk out towards the left. Which was a concern, I didn't want them walking out to the right. Oh, bummer. That's just so slightly not in the right place. Okay, okay, don't worry. Just think what could be done here. What could or would or should Brian Boitano do? He'd put a platform here for everyone to get one little... Mm, another one, perhaps? Yeah, there we go. Just plus our... Wait, what? Now they don't like being down here? Oh my lord. Uh, right. I should have the time for this, so don't worry. Just platform up twice with stairs and then once with a platform. Actually, I might get it done with just the stairs. What a deeply unpleasant um, map geography to be war uh, walking on. I guess it's map geology, huh? Alright, another one down. So close to the end of the game, I can taste it. Once we're done with the caves, we go to the outdoors and we are done. And we get to see the ending to Lemmings 2. I don't know if it gives you a special gold and everything ending, but... We'll get the best this game has to offer. <laughs> Geology rocks. Right, what do we have to do here? All we need to do is go up and over. In fact, if all we used was the caveman, we'd be uh, the rocket guy would be okay. The main problem is lack of time. But is this really a problem? What in God's name is stopping me? Just stomping through the ground. I'm curious if walking over here is deadly. It doesn't look deadly. It is not deadly. You go hui. Uh, it could be a slight problem. We don't quite get the height that we need here, do we? Hmm. Yeah, this could actually be a problem because of the way they're facing when they come out of their whee. I'm actually starting to think that the better solution was to rope up here, fence up, and then do a double build across, fill this up. If there was any bits that weren't close enough, I could glue towards the end and jump through it. Yeah, that seems like a much better idea. It's fun. It's a real fun head-scratcher of a game, this. I think it's a lot more fun than finding solutions to Lemmings 1. Where very often you saw the solution from the get-go, but you just... Clearly, clearly weren't thinking the same way the game devs were. Alright, quickly now, I want you up here. Well, it sucks to be him. He's stuck, isn't he? Oh, it sucks for you as well. Oh, it sucks for a lot of people. Hmm. The angle there was not particularly great. Do I have a way to delay the first guy? I suppose I do. I could make him into a... Hmm, hang on a second. What if I could use that jetpack? If I sent one guy down here, and he jetpacks out and ropers from here, then you guys could use stairways up and that would be a lot smoother. Problem is, a lot of them fall down here. That would not be sufficient. I 
However, what he could do is build the stairway from here, which might be better. The important thing, though, is that we can slice... Ah, dang. Hmm. Hmm. Boy, that is awkward. There's not a lot of verticality on the fencer, so it's pretty hard to cut through that at the weird angle that it comes in at. Hmm. Perhaps an alternative is required. Could possibly glue through this. Would that even work? Not in the slightest. Hmm. What if you were to do this? One, two, no, 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 no. Okay, alternatives. I do get two fencers. I don't think up and over would work here, though. Hmm. Come on, chat, we're in this together. Where are the bright ideas coming in from? I'm seeing a whole lot of none of them. stuck down here, they get flung up here. Chat is still sleeping what at 5 p.m. Hmm. I'd like to see the jetpack idea, the second guy that falls becoming a fencer. Jetpack idea, second guy that falls becomes a fencer. Do, 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 do. We could jump over you. You could fence through this, actually. But then, how do we get these two to meet each other? Seeing that as being an easy thing to do, especially since the fencer could very easily cut through this. But, you know what? I like the idea of trying new ideas, so let's go for it. First things first, you get up there. That might be all right. Of course, it might be uh, absolute trash, but let's find out together. Let's go together. You need to not take this little ride. Then you take this ride that I give you. Gain some altitude, my jetpack buddy. All right, that should be good. And then once you fall through here, fence for victory. Uh, well, we have a number of problems. The most obvious one being that I left this wide open. What are you even meant to do with that? However, a second bit of fencing over here would get people out. So all I need is another near-do-well jetpack guy to get through this. Come on, come on, just, just get through there, you freaking... Yeah, he doesn't want to, okay. Sounds to me like I needed two people down at the bottom then. All right, let's also make sure that this works. Oh, well, never mind that. Oh, but hang on, we do have fillers. We might still be able to fill our way through this situation. Hey, okay, there we go. Now, let's imagine this was working fine. Can I stare away my way to glory? The answer is yes, if I had started my stairway here, maybe. But also possibly not. Hmm. Not the not the worst attempt I've ever had though. My intelligence was put into question. I shall offer no insights. <laughs> oh. I can't enter hibernation just yet, Andaris. I've got my weekly one-shot tomorrow. I didn't want to meet, uh, miss the weekly one-shot for Vorion, so ape escape tomorrow. 
Right, so the obvious solution here is to let not one but two lemmings down this way. That angle might be a disaster, but oh well. I still want one of them avoiding you. We and jump. Uh oh. Okay, well, don't worry about it. We have a lot of jumpers. Yes, the well known caveman jetpack in operation. Alright, that should be good for you. Oh, easy now. Timing is of the essence. Alright, good that you joined there. I'm going to assume that I can filler my way out, and now I just need you. Oh gosh, time is very much of the essence here. I need you to get up there, and then I just need to jetpack you back. And then once you fall, we're gonna mash the build. I'm mashing. There we go. Alright, looks good. Now once you finish this, I just need these people to get out of here. They could do it with a fencer, but more ideally they'd get it done with a bit of filler. I'm definitely going to save and try both because I don't want to go through all this again. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that looks amazing. Alright, now how do we get out of here? Let's try a fencer first. That looks good. Oh, that's amazing. All right, sweet. Now all we need to do is fill our way out of here. Done and done right. With 30 seconds to spare. Well, 24. It does care about absolutely finishing the count. It's currently shift to clock, says Orlov. That's why I went silent. Ah. Okay, this gives us a twister, which means it's obviously a free level. There has never been a hard Lemmings level that offers you a twister. But maybe this can be the first. So, is it just one entrance? Looks like it. Two exits, though. I get the feeling the levels were designed by very different people. They don't seem to share this commonality to them. It's not like I'm playing a level in Doom and I go, go, oh, this is a sandy level. Speaking of sand, we can sand our way over here, but we could also platform our way over here. We have a lot of ways over, but first things first, I think we jump over it. You know, this doesn't look difficult at all. Really doesn't look difficult. Let's do this. You're going to get over here. You are going to build one, two, three, and then platform over with that. And that should be something that Lemmings can walk over. And then, ooh, can I sand pour up this thing? It's entirely possible that I cannot. Um into possibilities here. I'm going to try my luck with another bit of building and platforming. Oh, oh, oh. That's okay. We have one little chance of still getting over this. Oh, crumbs. Maybe we don't. I didn't think I made the platform that high, but evidently I did. And now you just went through it and you're causing me all sorts of issues now. Get out of there. Okay, this has now become a proof of concept run, not a I'm going to beat this run. Right, uh, can you climb over that? If you can, then we have our victory condition. Looks climbable. It is not climbable. Hmm, okay. Perhaps I would be better off taking another route. I can see another route. It's a pretty good one as well. One platform, build up, second platform, done. Hmm, okay, that's a, a lot easier than the solution I have here. 
Yeah, these are the cave lambs, Calmest Gamer. That's what I get for just running headlong into the first idea. Gotta be malleable with the ideas. I was taught this during some kind of leadership course. As part of the course, they had us build um, contraptions out of spaghetti. You got spaghetti and blue tack. And you had to make the tallest building that you could using that. And uh, we actually won. Our team made the best one. Because I've had an army of people tell me the merits of using triangles. This is bad. I can't let you lay another piece of track. So stop that. Uh, you are going to stop that, right? Okay, good. Now you fall here, and it's of vital importance that you immediately build the stacker. I don't think that was immediate enough. I know it was not immediate enough. Why does the timing have to be so hard? Okay, but you can totally see the plan there. I think it might have been better if you built the stacker from the other side. Yeah, you could have come from this end and just build it out here. That would have been a lot better. It's okay. It's uh, called iteration. Fail early. Iterate hard. Iterate cheap. Fail cheap. Triangles are really overpowered. The next version of reality should probably balance them. I won a bridge building contest in my physics class by constructing a bridge out of triangles. Can confirm. Uh, triangles, they start to feel like a bit much of a crutch when I was playing Polybridge. But god, did I love playing Polybridge. Okay, so let's go about this a different way then. Instead of using my stacker the way I did before, I'm going to use the stacker to get you over this. Dum de dum de dum de dum de dum. Over you go go. Can I turn you around? The answer is yes. Costs me some of my jumps, but I am not concerned. Just gotta make sure that we do not exit the level. And that also goes for on the way back, my lemming friend. Your job ain't done yet. Jump again. Boy, I might actually run a little low on the jumpers, but that's okay. It's not that cold. One other jumper comes across here, please. It certainly gave us loads of tools to get through this. In fact, that's, that's all we need to win, so I can just fill this with sand if I want to. Considerably easier level this time. I wonder if there's a whole bunch of this level that I ignored. Oh, there's, there's no one that would take this low route. You'd have a way of getting back up. A solution that gets up to the high one, I think, is a bit more interesting. The high exit. If this were the only exit, well, I don't think it would be a more interesting level, because how would you get there from below? Well, it matters not. What matters is victory, and that is what we have achieved here. Uh, anyone keeping track of the number of these levels? Let's have a look at the map. It should give us a good visual indicator of how far through we are. The dampeners were the real crutch. I don't know, I think the dampeners distracted my mind from more sensible solutions. Oh man, look at him go! What's that, two or three more levels for Cave Lem? Let's do them. Then it's outdoors and we are done. Deadly exit done. Gold standard as ever. Wilma! An on-the-nose Flintstone reference. Don't spare the spare ribs. Oh man, uh, the meat in Flintstones I always thought looked amazing. Could have carved Dino into some Dino burgers. Nah, no, Dino, no, no. So, what's the brilliant idea here? I suspect I want to build up, then jump across here, fall down. Why does that look like it's going to kill a lemming? Like it's going to drop on them and 
skin them alive, boil them alive, because that's exactly what it looks like. And then you can put down two platformers here so this isn't a deadly fall. This is fine, this is less fine. Where are we even trying to go? Wow, way down is the answer. A lot of fencing swords for the uh, cave lands. Alternatively, I could platform over this, but then this becomes nothing but deadly. No, I think this needs to be where the platform is. This is fine. They'd bounce around on that. They'd come out this way. They'd come down. This is also deadly, though. Concerning, because I'm going to be using both of my platforms to survive the initial drop. So maybe I am mistaken in thinking that that's the way forward. Maybe the platform, maybe one platform would reach out far enough. I don't, I don't buy that though. There's no way it reaches out this far. This also looks deadly. However, could we have a best of both worlds? What if you got here, built up and out? That way one single builder platform at Icarus Ring would save a lot of people, get them all the way down here. Then they'd fall, fall, and then just save them on this, and they can make their way to the exit. Uh, if I used an explosive here and a fencer here, they would turn around, fall down, use my other fencer here. We've got a lot of fencers, so we can put them to good use. All right, the solution appears simple, trivial even. First and foremost, let's get our guys stuck in here. You're going to ignore my wall, but that's okay. I'll just Icarus wing you. And you are also going to ignore instructions, so you get out of there. You turn around and go way down. No, 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 no. Oh, man, I did not mean to bash you there. You're very dead. Okay, but that's fine. We'll let him die. And what we'll do is we'll use this as a proof of concept. Are you going to come back? No, I, I think that lemming is gone as well. Oh, no, oh, no, they're back. They're back. Well, okay. Uh, you might be a little difficult to proof of concept with now that you're almost certainly going to die. It's okay. Broken spine's no big deal. And you don't fall into that either. This is alright-ish. How do I get you over here, though? Fear not, it can be done. Victory is off the cards, but I'm trying to experiment a little bit here. With a very well-timed win- uh, oh, 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 golly gosh. Yep! Can't have you landing there, that's for sure. So that is deadly fall, huh? Okay. Yeah, Icarus 2 flew, flew too high. Offended the gods. How dare mankind have technical, uh, technological advances. They must be stopped. That was at least 19 years ago. I wish I could have used my Jake knowledge to win something, but alas, it wasn't a Nancy Drew quiz contest. Nancy has taught us a lot. Oh god, I've got to stop flubbing the Icarus wings. Oh man. You know what? Maybe I should get a lot less greedy. Don't Icarus wing backwards here. Just Icarus wing across once. And then across a second time. Turn it around and do my job with that side. Because Icarus wings are really easy to mess up. Kind of a shame, Fish Slips. Has anybody else done Trail of the Twister? 
By now, most of the Nancy Drew games have been ran by at least two people, right? Nah, cause it's crap! <laughs> That's unfair on the game. Very unfair. You get out of here. I kinda am extremely tempted to Icarus wing you again regardless. Tell you what, I'm gonna be very cheeky. And I will Icarus wing you. Oh, 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 boy, that's kind of good, kind of good. Just just go the other way. Go down a bit, down a lot, actually. Now turn around and go, wait, no, no, not, not that, not that around, this around. Now down, 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 other round, other way around. Down some more. Okay, that kind of worked. Now for my glorious idea. And it is quite glorious. Whether or not it's going to work yet, I don't know, because it's hard to gauge how far lemmings are willing to fall. It doesn't look so deadly now. Let's get you out of here. Now, I want to see very quickly if this is deadly or not, so we're going to blow this up. I am going to kill a bunch of lemmings by blowing them over the wrong side, but that's okay. This is all an experiment. Now, is this a deadly fall? No, and neither is that. Is this deadly? Also no. Is it a trap? Yes. But is that a problem? No. So you can get out of here. Uh, is this a problem? Yes. But that's not a problem. And from there... You can make this a not-so-deadly fall for them. Uh, I need one of you to at least test this theory, so... There we go. And then you end up stuck here, right? Right? Okay, good. I wanted you stuck, I think. And then we use our caveman swords to fence our way out. And out again! Easy victory for my easy life. Alright, so the, what was the problem there? I failed to get out without killing my lemmings. But that's okay, because that was all a test. Also, I needed you to be a trailblazer here, so break your spine. Break your spine again. Were you stuck here? I can't remember. Yeah, you were, but that's fine because you can just fence your way out. Loads of fencers, put them to use. And now this might look like a problem, but it's actually the opposite of a problem. Whee! Yee! Oh god, that looked painful. I guess lemmings were just built differently back then. Why even use an explosion at the start? I've got a Brazilian fencer. It's just fence my way out. Jake's court martial is going to take forever. He murdered over a million lemmings. Also, I'm well equipped to deal with such an allegation. They couldn't get me in Xenonauts. They won't get me here. Anyone got a cat? Are they reacting at all to the noises that these lemmings are making? There's a television advert that made my cat freak out. Which one was it? I don't know, must have been one for a toy cat. Very nice. I don't know why we got balloons or fillers. They were unnecessary. Probably just there to throw me. Right, that was the seventh or maybe eighth level. Onwards and upwards. To level eight or nine. Probably not level ten, though. Evolution of Lemmings. A very tall level with a lot of assorted tools, but not a lot of, ex uh, not a lot of destruction. Jake, have you played much 4X? Civ, Humankind, I don't like 
a lot of 4X games. Especially not Civilization, Civilization clones. I've played them. Right, what's the story here? Basher, Stomper, Parachute, Platformer, Climber. We very rarely see Climber in this game. Balloon, Jumping, Shimmy, but no sliding down. Hmm, okay. I seem stuck in here. One single jumper could get out and do all the work, but what would that work be? Where are the lemmings going to go? I can bash through this, but then they fall here, and then they fall to not quite certain death, because I can put a platform out here. Then they bounce back and are safe here, and then they come down here, and now they are going to die unless they end up here. Okay, so the whole thing is you actually have to move your lemmings along with you, whilst also having a renegade move forward. Kind of cool. But I have a lot of stompers. Surely the stompers can help me out a lot. You know what, I think I can actually work them independently. Let's go, Renegade. Mm, yeah, you're gonna have to jump. I didn't want you to jump, but... Here's your parachute, get to work. So first things first, come down here. And you need to... Build a platform here so our lemmings don't die. Lemmings bounce back, come down along here, down across. I don't see any of those spooky cave things that kill them out of nowhere. Good. Then they're going to bounce, fall down here, and now they need to go across. I need to stomp at the end of it. That's all fine. Very important that I don't make you a climber, because you could easily climb to your death, couldn't you? Yeah, but I can save a bit of time by blowing you to the left. Yeah, Dom 5. Dom 5 is the exception because it's really good. General rules are exactly that general, but we have far too many Germans around here that just don't seem to understand that. Okay, does that look like it's going to be survivable to the common lemming? Yes, it does. This could be considered a problem, though. I need you to turn around. You don't want to turn around. Well, I do need you inside here, but how do I turn you around now? I can balloon you up and over to here, but you can't jump anymore. It might be that I have to... make you come all the way over here, climb and shimmy and drop and go through this again. I guess that's why it would be called the evolution of the lem, but do we have an alternative? There's always an alternative. And I think the answer is yes, we do have an alternative. I'm not going to go through what the game wants me to do. I am going to stomp then bash, then I'm going to make you a climber, then I'm going to platform. Ah, oh, crap, I made you a uh, climber too soon. And now I don't have the tools to stop this. But you're absolutely required here. Can I do to change my fortunes here? I know what I'll do. I may have made you a climber, and I may already be regretting that, because I could have just turned you around over here to begin with, but whatever. Get over, pop, climb, get up, go around. Evening, Jake. Good luck with the timing tonight. Luck, huh? Certainly got plenty of that. What I need luck with is my Dominion 6 tonight. 
got some Dominion 6 MP with lads. And uh, to say it's not going well for me would be an understatement. I just got my entire army and a significant amount of my Mage core destroyed. All right, that should be safe enough to move all of my lemmings. And we have plenty of bashing ability, so let's do it. All right, good. This should fall there, fall there, fall, fall, fall. Everything looks safe. If we ever hear something go mush, then we know that we've made a critical error. Hearing the meows of pain is not a problem, though. Yeah, we are getting fewer clubs than expected. I think they front-loaded the clubs and the spades. Good grief. Alright, I don't want to hear this. Let's just speed that right up. Alright, now I think we're on to the final one. I'm no done yet. Very few tools to play with, but a big variety. Not a hugely vertical level. Think of the sheer bragging rights when you turn it around. No, I think I'll be going begging to them to get the thrones and claim victory. We're doing a Disciples PvE, and I am a Disciple. I slayed Ermor, and I just about slayed Abyssia, but then Abyssia just came back with a very large army and stomped me into jelly. I think I messed up my scripting, though. I was looking back at the battle, and I thought, why did I not summon the air elementals that I was meant to? And I think the slight delay on auto-casting Storm using the Storm Staff stopped my uh, mages from summoning Storm Power. I think. Could be wrong, but I'd have to look a little closer. Right, so what are we looking at here? We drop out... What is even stopping me just moving a slight fraction over and stomping my way down here? Truth be told, I do not know. And then I could just fence through you, build a stairway here, and be done. Figuratively, nothing is stopping me. Well, he says that, but now he's not so sure. This little guy is going to kill my lemmings by launching them straight off the screen if I do that. Instead, it might be more clever to build out here so that they drop, bounce off of that, come over here and... Yeah, okay. Looks easy to me. If it looks easy to me, it must be really easy. Do you want to jump and make your platform or just make your platform from there? Yeah, I agree, jumping might be safer. Jumping was not safer! And I don't have a climber, do I? Mm, no. No, I do not. Shimmier doesn't magically cause you to climb. Alright then, well, we're not jumping there then. We're going to do the platform from there. The lizard doesn't eat your guys. The lizard launches it. Wait, lizard? Might be a different... Uh, might be a different beast. We'll load it back up. Lizard, huh? If you mean that thing on the far left, then no. That's just some dino that launches our guys with its tail. Hmm, time is tight on this level, huh? Three minutes. Alright, keep on grooving, but I don't want you to pass by on this, so maybe at this point, if you could just... I can't think of any use for the glue, so I might use the glue here. Actually, I can think of a very good use for the glue right here. Hmm. I do want you to stop, though. I 
could use the stomper, that's no big deal. Please don't fall too far. Okay, good, good, good. Now glue from here. That was terrible. But redeemable. That landed on the wrong pixel. Don't you land on the wrong pixel too. Okay, that's borderline acceptable. Now I need you to turn around with a bump. Fortunately, the old trick from Lemmings 1 still works. Bump. And I still need you to jump again. Can you jump over this? Oh, that's a problem. The answer is no, you cannot. This is still a problem. Is it a problem that we can reconcile? Mm, I don't think so. How could I have dealt with this better? Maybe jumping from here would have gotten you over that? I don't think so. I think using the glue here was the way forward. But I poured in just the wrong pixel. Okay, well, get it done better next time. Actually, they do shrug when they run out of um, out of things. I just gave the command too quickly. I have enjoyed the Lemmings runs, but uh, if I had done a third Lemmings game like I was asked to, I think I would be damn sick of Lemmings. Have you lay a little earlier. And let's see if we can get the shrug for fishy. Give me the shrug. Hey, okay, but I can't afford to give him very long or else he will walk off. Now, must I stomp through this? I must. Okay, thank goodness. Crunch. Now, the timing on this is of vital importance, so I'm definitely going to save this one. Timing is fun, right? When you're right on the edge here, that's what I needed. Get the magic pixel, and then actually the rest of the level's done, isn't it? Come on, I need a lemon going this way. There we go. How hard was that? The answer is not very. Break some spines. I don't know what the exceptionally powerful glue they use in Lemmings that is also something that can be poured, but more power to them. Come on, the 3-1 is fi uh, fun. I thought it was really nice. Well, I look forward to seeing you do it, Minsk. Now give me that award for my outstanding service to the Cave Lems. Yet another gold for our Amulet of Gold. One more piece and it's all coming together. Lemmings is never too much. I play Lemmings every year. God, we attract people with problems here. There we go. 90% of the game remains and it's all outdoors. No choice to be made here. I wonder if this was clearer what we're looking at on the PC Amiga version. Alright, final 10. Let's get it done. The first level is obviously going to be easy. You can even tell they give us a full house of 10 different... Hold on! We've never seen the planter before! Ooh, at the 11th hour, a new ability. Let's see it. Huh. That's kind of weird. Can we stack them? Absolutely. Do they cause problems? Absolutely. Do we have bashers? Absolutely not. Alright, well, when in doubt, just use the single most overpowered ability in Lemmings 2, and that is the Twister. Why is it so overpowered? Because you can dig up. 
One of the most coveted things to do in Lemmings, dig up. Of course, the positioning on it is not trivial, but... In this one, they give us a staggering ten of these twisters, so it's kind of hard to muck up. Boy, we get some really lame music to finish the game off with, huh? There we go. Easy victory. And uh, all we need to do is get over here. Surely another bit of planting can give you the elevation that you need. <laughs> they even get down and crawl into the tent. So cool. Even layered. Okay. One down, nine to go. Or perhaps I could say, uh... 111 down, nine to go. Blaster, parachuter, stacker, diver, filler. Fence is in the way. The only destruction is my laser blaster. The solution seems simple, but semblances can often be hoodwink. Let's start with this. I'm going to use this guy to climb over. Doesn't really matter if he keeps building too high. Are you able to climb over that? Good. Are you able to get bounced back on this? Also good. And now all I need to do is laser blast to victory. I'll do it far away from the entrance just in case anybody falls to their demise. Walking over to the right is not a problem. If it were a problem, I would bounce you around. I'm ready for anything. 112 down, 8 to go. Jeng's dinner is going to feel triumphant after beating this. Lemmings 1 and Lemmings 2, long if they dangled over me like Damocles' sword from my childhood. And they will both be 100 percented. Not only that, I can finally do a run-through of Resident Evil 4 Remake when all is said and done. That was the next long play we have in the line. What are we doing here? We've got a long way to go. A very long way to go. Holy moly. Well, we obviously need to keep one platformer for the end here. That seems fine. That's fine. I got my flamethrowers, which I love. Uh, I would bet any amount of money that that frog is going to eat my lemmings. Okay. Well, I think we obviously need a trailblazer, but I'm curious how the other lemmings make their way across. Can they climb up that naturally? Also, what does that bee do? Well, what does any bee do? Interesting. Right, as soon as this one is over, I need you to jump out of that because you need to absolutely be faster than everybody else. And that includes descending here. I have a funny feeling the flamethrower is necessary here. And I have a funnier feeling that you are a problem. I don't know how to deal with you, but I have two ideas. I'm going to use the first one first. I wish Flamethrower was my idea, but what I'm going to do is build over this. Good. Just putting a little bit over the trigger is usually enough to stop the guy from triggering. Lemmings with Flamethrowers. What on earth? What indeed? All right, good. I'm glad you paint this ascension really quickly. I'm going to jump and hand glide once more just to ensure that you are faster than the other lemmings. That grass shouldn't be an issue. And then you just build our way to the end. And since that's all we need, we torch for supremacy. And then everybody makes their way into the end. Yeah, the alternative was to use the flamethrower to burn a little bit underneath the frog. But I know what you're thinking, Jake, I wanted to see the frog eat the lemming. So, alright, let's have a look. 
Well, let's also test my torching idea. God damn, I'm good. But don't worry, we could probably get the trigger back by building on the little bit down here. Uh, maybe building a little bit more on here. No, okay. Oh god, what if the what if the frog isn't actually deadly? No, it must be deadly. Look. There we go. Hungry frog. Anyway, I'm glad we could see. Well, no, let's watch him eat quite a few lemmings. He's probably really hungry. Been decades since anyone's played his game, and now he can fill up with as many lemmings as he likes. How horrifically cruel. All right, 113 down, seven to go. Deliverance, question mark. Lots of tools, including an attractor. What kind of what kind of outdoor instrument do you think they use? My money is on flute. Kayaker with a rock climber. It's an easy way across, but what's a man to do here? Huh. I have an idea. But, well, I have a number of ideas, actually. Hmm. Do I like any of them? My deep suspicion is that even an attractor on launch won't make all the lemmings dance. So maybe it will. Maybe. Maybe not. I can still give you a kayak, though. Although, you're also going to need to be a climber. is out. Uh, okay. What can still be done? Uh, maybe glue is the answer. Glue has often been the answer before. I gotta be careful. Really, really careful. Oh, am I careful enough? I might be. I don't think Childhood Jake would have figured this out in a million years. And as long as I get away from this and stomp through at the very end... Nice! That was not my original plan, but it seems to have worked. Now where's the dancer? Or the singer or the whatever. There we go. Nice. Never seen glue do that before, you're using the wrong brands there, Turbolt. 114 down, 6 to go. I, I assume a lemming must be about equivalent to calories as a hedgehog, and I think a hedgehog clocked in at a thousand. 99 ballooners for Friday's walk. Ooh. Okay, if they turn around to the left, I think they just die by going off screen. Got the club bash. That looks like a hole that can be fall down, fell down to die. A lot of ropers. Where are we even going? I've only got three minutes, so I don't think using 99 balloons is the answer. What if it is? Good grief, this looks grim. Um, okay. Okay. Getting height here looks unpleasant, but I do have a lot of ropers, which tends to make life a lot easier. Thousand calories for a hedgehog here, I'm getting pork like a schmuck. For shame. Destructive abilities, I do have a stomper. <clears throat> Rather, I have two stompers, also a lot of jumpers. There's not some hidden exit that doesn't require all that verticality, is there? No. 
There is an argument that says rope, 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 but I am very low on time for this level. I can club through this, I can club through that, and we get to the exit, so maybe I'm overcomplicating things. Just, uh... Rope, rope. Can I rope up to that? It seems awfully steep. There's a lot I don't like about this. I almost certainly need a guy that's trailblazing, so I'm going to use my enormous amount of jumpers to accelerate you. Hopefully you can get over this with no problem. Of course you have no problem. Now, how about you? I have an idea, actually, and it's maybe not even a bad one. Works like this. Okay. Bear with me. You're going to make a platform up and rope along, and the guy behind you is also going to rope that. This is my bigger concern, so I'm probably going to platform over it. Or is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Time is of the essence. This level does not afford a lot of time at all. Now, these ropings are extremely precise, so pardon me whilst I don't accept do-overs. Uh, what? Oh, that's not a hole. It looked a lot like a hole. Maybe I didn't need to use my platformer at all then. Hmm. Interesting. And irritating in equal measure. Yeah, yeah, he, he tries to ready himself, but then he can't. I think I needed to use the platform on this side so he could ready himself better. Okay, in that case I'll need to potentially not restart, but time is very tight. Alright, let's take a different approach then. My approach is you become a ballooner, and you're stuck for some reason. Okay, okay, what? <laughs> uh, okay, well that's never happened before I guess. Do your shrug, do your balloon now. Get over to Oak Crumbs. That might still be okay. Now I don't think it's okay. Still not okay. Jeez, I'm not having luck with you today, am I? Shrug, balloon. Over you go. Get over to the other side and rope down rather than up. Madness, I know, but I think this will work. Although it'll work even better if you get going on the other part of our plan. Not good enough. Okay, kind of good enough. Now I want you to rope up to here. Is that too far? No, it's not. Excellent. Okay, can I make do with just using a club? Do we think this can be climbed over? I do, but I worry about the bouncing back of the lemmings. Whereas I could just rope over this. How many ropers do I need? One... Two, three, four. Okay, okay, we're gonna rope out of the starting place. Just kind of good. I really want you turned around, but I don't think we're going to be enjoying that. Liberty. I'm so short on time. I need these lemmings moving yesterday. All right, what did I say I'd do to get you out? I think I said I'd rope you, all right. 
Get out of there, lemmings. Time is of the absolute essence. Solve the Avorion connection issues. Lowering the VPN solves it. It's probably some anti-abuse on the hosting provider. Glad to hear it. Although, who would have thought it was the VPN all at- Why are you not- Oh, golly gosh, I needed you roping and you didn't rope. For some reason I couldn't select him. Still can't select you. Get up there! No more ropers, no more hopes. I don't think we have the time because of those other guys bouncing back. Although, uh, anything's possible, right? Not in 40 seconds, surely not. Surely not. Could I get one of you to just go faster than the others, please? Club. Club. I don't, I don't think they're going to make it in 20-odd seconds. 20... 15... 10... No way, not a chance. Seconds shy. Alright, alright, but I, I reckon we have all the information we need to win. I still think I was on a pretty good solution here, but... Let's not waste your time, nor mine. Ooh, I'm not sure if that's high enough. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Hop! Get you down there. And you, laddie, you have got a long ways to move. And I really need to release the horde. Oh god, why did you turn her? Oh, this wasn't far enough, was it? Uh... I don't think that's going to do it. Yeah, no, crumbs. As I said before, ropers are... Well, they demand a lot of accuracy out of you. Plop. Oh, I still think that's actually a little too low. Oh, I need to, I need to hit that thing a lot higher. I think somebody mentioned that uh, Lemmings 1 looks more chaotic. Well, get out of there. Lemmings 1 looks more chaotic than Lemmings 2. I am verily inclined to agree. Right, considerably higher this time. Ah, oh, too high. <laughs> Come on, game. I'm not asking the world here. Nope. Imagine doing this without save states. I don't have to imagine that, I just need to remember that. Going back to square bloody one with every fault. Well, you know what? I respect my time a little more than that, so I got absolutely no problem. Alright, alright. Now, if we release the horde... The guy that's moving right now can just hurry it up, hurry it up. We need verticality and we need it now. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. That's good. And the reason that's good is it's now locked everybody in here. No more faffing around. There is one problem, of course. There is one lemming that is behind the curve. Wait, where is he? Huh. 
Huh, I guess he, he joined the collective. Do, do, do. Club and club, and again, I want one lemming ahead of the rest to get the additional clubbing done. Far less tight on time as I was before, though. Thank heavens for that. There we go. Done and done right. Lemmings 1 looks more gritty, more dark. Lemmings 2 is a happy game, certainly for those lemmings. 115 of them down, I think, now. Five more to go. The Magic of Mushrooms. Lots of tools available. Including stomping and fencing, so surely destruction's not a problem. What does that bee do? I, I actually want to know, does the bee kill me? Doesn't seem to even want to try and kill me. What if I get closer to it? What if I get right up in the bee's business? Huh. Really, really thought that bee would try and kill my lemmings. Okay, now we have a long way to go. And sadly, the game didn't give me 40 parasols for this. Still doesn't look too hard, though. After all, all we need to do is platform across, fall, uh, platform across, fall. Basically, looks like child's play. Now bring me back, game. Let's go indeed. Getting less and less patient for returning to the start. That's what save states does to you. Right, I reckon first order of business is to have one person jump over here. I've got enough time so I can trailblaze. Maybe jump through this, turn around, build a platform over here. Then over here, hop through it. Hop down, hop down some more and platform out. This might not be deadly. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that very well, in fact. All right, let's do it. Whee! Oh, okay. Missed the point entirely then, shall we, lemming friend? Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. They really don't want me going across here with just one lem. Alright, well, I got over there in the end. Now hop through that and turn back around. Uh, no, actually that was the wrong place to put that entirely. You know what, screw it, I have failed everything I've tried in this level so far. Let's just go back to square, bleeding one. Do -de -do -de -do. All right, good start, good hustle. Immediate stomping through to turn around. This time do not do it again. Just come down here and then... You know, the arrows could work out pretty well here, couldn't they? But I have other ideas for them for now. Let's just platform here. Might need two. Might not need two. Uh, might have problem with you not getting back up unless I jump you, maybe? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, right. Emer emergency stack. There we go. Whew, could have been bad. I still need another platform out of you here, though. And I'm going to use this fencer only to cancel that. And then comes the awkward part, huh? And let us stomp. And then stomp just a little, a little, little bit. That just gives me a couple pixels further down. And I want to line you up right with this. 
One more. Get off of it. Fall to your safety. Brilliant. But now what? I'll tell you what. Your archery course begins now. Just a little bit further out, my friend. You should bounce back off of that. Good. And now... Good. Perfect. That single arrow is going to stop Lemmings from walking off over to the right. And there we go. We can just release all the Lemmings now. But how? With a simple stomper? Oh, this is where it gets a little less simple. How do I prevent them from walking off to the left and dying? You're right, I can do that. Yeah, I will, I will. Okay then, easily does it. I'm gonna grab one of you guys. And you're going to jump and jump and jump again. And you're gonna do a similar motion from the previous guy. Uh, wait a second, is this even gonna work? No, cause you're not gonna get up there. What was I thinking with this? I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking this. Shoot another arrow. A bit much of a crap shot for my liking. This is what I'm going to do. I will build a wall. And then I will use my final jump to erect another wall. And then as long as this wall is at least two bits high and I'm looking to the right, I will cancel out of it. I will destroy the wall, and then I shall stomp for victory. Perfection. Gosh, that one arrow did so much for me. What was my alternative without the arrow? Actually, the alternative was even easier. Just build a stacker here and jump off of it. But then I wouldn't have had my final jump to get out of that hairy situation I'd created for myself, but I would have used a platform. Basically, I had so many tools to deal with that level's issues. And it's once again give me lots of tools. Jumping, shimmying, floating, ten bazookas, ten bombs, ten mortars. You can see why they call this level natural selection. This is just proto-worms. Okay, what's the story here? A busted fence post, a weird looking rock in the ground, some outdoor steel. Is that green steel a natural formation? Looks a lot like I just... Oh, hang on, how do I even get across here? Ooh. I have no way of building platforms. That's interesting. Meaning that some of them are having to float down here. But then, how do they get up? I got shimmiers, but I don't have climbers. <clears throat> I do have the music man. But how does that help? Oh, hello! Look at this hidden little, hidden little number. So I can actually just blow through this after 20 of them simply jump across. Alright, seems easy, right? How could it possibly be hard? 20 jump, the other get parasols. One, two, three, four, five, six, set, wheat, neuf, dies. Uh, something, elf, twelve, dreisen, vierzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, ach, no, I've definitely lost my count. Anyway, a couple more and we're good to go. Learning to count with Jake and Lemmings. Let's try and get all these guys souped up with parasols. I hope when they land, things go well for them. 
And you know that they don't just find a way to die down there, that would be tragic. Alright, that's a lot of them. So, how do we invoke natural selection here? This seems like an obvious place to just stand and keep bazookaing until there's a hole big enough to cross. Well, I'm glad we were able to sensibly deal with this. Are you able to walk over that? No, okay, but that's nothing a bit of point-blank artillery can't handle. As for you folks, it seems like the obvious solution is just to explode our way downwards. I can totally see this not working out well for some reason. Let's uh, secure our future. Okay, all right, that's fine-ish. Good, my biggest concern was some of them blasting to the sideways and going back up and over here. I've got four parasols left after all. There's another problem that I go too far down in one direction and it ends up becoming a deadly fall. So that's why I'm moving it over to the side a little bit. And then I think I will point blank mortar this last one. Love the point blank mortar. Boom! Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, they might not like it. Guess I'll stick to this. Uh-oh. Oof. What about you? Oh, okay, okay. Broken spines, PTSD, but ultimately, my 100 and something teenth finished level. Yeah, plenty of bombs here. Earlier levels give me far fewer. The laws of tradition. Hmm. Need to lubricate the brain here. Hmm. I can go a long time streaming without eating, but without drinking, unthinkable. Don't know how people manage to dehydrate themselves, uh, intolerable. Right, we have to go up. Not great, considering we don't have a lot of upwards tools. But it does afford us a giant ramp here. What does the very bottom route give us? Uh, nothing good, although it might be where I need to send one lemming. One lemming can come over, shimmy down, rock wall up again, platform across because I have no jumpers, and then I would need you possibly to scoop down from here to create a way up here, and platform across and across, and score the win. Possibly. Is any of that necessary, though? Because it kind of looks like I could... do it very differently. For example, if I got a platform across here, I could go up here using the fencer, then I could scoop down, then I could fence up. Then... from here we could fence up very, very slowly. I don't think we'd cover this much verticality with a fencer, though fencers are pathetic at gaining height. Hmm. Ah, but if I fenced up here, I could get this initial height and then go across and up. So I don't think I need the trailblazer. I might not have much choice, though. Uh, no, because we've got the music man. The music man will make everything better. You just activate there, and you activate here. Oh, thank God they started dancing there. Okay. Whew. There's a little gotcha hole here, but yeah, I, I want to make do with this without the trailblazer if I can. And I think I can. Not the, the other trailblazer, at least. Do, do, do. You should be able to make it all the way up here. Just turn around, build us this. And now I don't need my all singing, all dancing routine here anymore. The best way to stop you is to fence you out of it, I think. Because three fencers should be enough. Let me think. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll be okay. 
All right, this might be a little awkward because if you just hit the steel once, for all you know, you've lost it entirely. So let's see where we go with this. Get scooping, lad. Big scoops. Now go from here. Do not hit the steel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I made a mistake by um, stopping the, uh, the clowning around. I should have waited until I was at this point. Because now those guys down there are stuck. I hope I didn't save after I stopped him from doing that. Because, yeah, we got our victory condition, except all the lemmings are stuck down there. Do they have a way out, I wonder? It's not impossible, actually. Witness. You. Can you get over there? No. However, what if we had this? Okay, I know that doesn't look like much, but... But... Yeah, I got it. I don't have a lot of time, but I think I have the solution. How do I break you out of this? I think I can... Alright, alright, alright. One single scoop should free everybody. It didn't. Okay, a second scoop. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's not kidding me. How did that not work for you? Alright, I, I ain't kidding, man. We do not have time for this kind of messing around. One stomp. One build out of that stomp. Are you kidding? Stop messing up, you stupid lemmings. I don't have time. Move it. Whew, okay, we're on the final platform. I saved them. It's gonna run out of time, right? Very wrong, Minsk. Time management. It's like lemming management. As in, I'm great at it. Whew, let's ignore all those weekly one-shots that have uh, slipped through the schedule's fingers. 22, 93, 4. What does it mean? That's what I also mean about Lemmings 2 being far more malleable. Lemmings 1 would not have accepted any of those errors, let alone all of them. Let's see. Parachute runner, 10 jumpers, a clubber, 10 builders, a basher, a roper, and 10 of my beloved arrows. Very strange and narrow map. The target is above us and surrounded in steel. Okay. Doesn't seem easy to trap my lemmings for later, but I'm going to have to, aren't I? This is a deadly fall for sure. However, if I were to bash club through here, they'd be fine, but I think I'm gonna need those bash clubs later. Here, absolutely. Can my one roper get me up here and then I bash through and then... I got builders though. Could possibly use ten builders to get all the way up here. And then build up here, rope up here and bash through to the exit. The issue of course is how do I keep my lemmings preoccupied. Need to save at least one basher. I think the answer is to use an arrow. You think you could do this, laddie? Is that going to stop them? No, I, I hope for too much. However, watch this. If you do that, and you do this... Come on! No, 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 not up. Up is bad. Hang on, there's a thought. Could they just put them directly down? Ooh, well that works even better. Okay, we've learned a new technique, and that technique will get us through here. I can club through the arrow that I put down. However, I do need to delay a lemming. What do I have that can delay them without costing me the level? Hmm. 
Hmm, five minutes for this level is also a tad bit concerning. I don't want to use a runner, but I might be alright using a runner. It's a good way to get ahead, although runners fill me with dread. I think I'd be happier using a jumper just to push you ahead for the rest of the game. And then that should allow this. Hopefully that blocks you. It absolutely does. Alright, sweet. Now... Do, 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 do. What was my solution here? Ah, don't worry about it. Nothing a parachute can't solve. A parachute and an archer. Because you are going to throw that right there, and that will prevent a deadly fall. Still need to hurry up. Oh, hang on. Did I want to build from here? I think I did. Crumbs! I don't think it's going to be good enough from here. Although I could rope her to finish the fight. Let's see how this looks. Alright, that's not terrible. It's not good, but uh, I think we could still work with it. Don't underestimate just how much land you can clear with a builder. I feel overpowered from Lemmings 1. I worry that's a bump, though. Uh, I was right to worry. Okay. Can you just, like, hit that into here and, uh... No, no, he cannot. Oh, no. Oh, dearie me. Look, I need you to move along a lot faster. Time is not on my side for this level. However, this position here might afford me a new opportunity. <laughs> it's okay, you can say that was really good. I won't blame you for being right. Alright, that actually means that I could release all the other lemmings almost. I need you up and over here. So you just get along here, turn back, bash through and we're done. And this is using fewer builders than I thought it might. Now I can happily release all the lemmings though. Uh, the timing on that's going to be fierce. I'm going to wait until you finish, or until you can start your other building work. Judging by the angle, I want you about here. About here. Okay. I only get one shot at this bash. Let's not muck it up. Now, if this were Lemmings 1, I would hate this a lot because it would be a 50-50. As it stands, it's just uh, done and done right. Alright, let's go. Two minutes to clench out the finish. I wish I'd used the club and not the um, not the basher for that now, but oh well. Can't undo it, can I? Tell me you can get through that. Corsican. All right, easy solution. That felt very Lemmings One esque, in that there was a lot of building up with builders. But that roper shot and that arrow shot was inspired. I wouldn't have had the spare builders if I hadn't nailed that arrow. Garden of Stone. Almost one of everything that I have here. A couple of twos. I wonder if it's not stone but steel. Mm, no, I spy no steel. This is no mayhem one steel works. Uh, it's these platforms that <sighs> kind of say use hoppers, but what if I don't want to? And I really don't want to. Simple stomper would bring all my lemmings down here to a deadly fall. If I could just build over here, it would no longer be so deadly, and then they could turn around and get to the exit. So I really think all I need to do is get one guy over here, have him kayak across, and Hmm, this is awkward, because I don't actually want to build across all of this. 
Ah, but the bomb could help. Yes, of course. Okay, then it's all about the speed. Do I mind using his jumps just for accelerated speed here? I need him to jump once here. I won't get greedy. Uh, you, on the other hand, actually need to stomp through this or I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm glad you got up there, no problem. Now we're in a race against time here, so quit messing around and get legging, buddy. Boy, it is a serious race against time. Hup! Don't worry about that, just get kayaking before all your friends die. How are we looking? Okay, I think we'll be fine, because they're going to break their spines falling down here. I hope they do. Okay, that's acceptable. One more! One more! No! <laughs> Seconds too slow. No, oh, not even that. Ah. You got a grade A for merit. Not good enough for saving every one of these guys. How did three of them die? Only looked like two of them did. So I think I did actually need to use that jump that I didn't use earlier. Because I need the extra speed. Go and go. And uh, get hopping mad while you're at it too. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, crumbs, he hopped back. That's not what I needed you to do. I needed you to hop over that gap, please. I might have the guy stomp the moment he gets out. It might cause some lemmings to mm, hesitate a bit. The most important thing is that you are running right out of the gate. You get hippity hopping. You jump a bit. Hop for victory. Uh, if you're gonna do that anyway, fire, fair be it. Now move! And we'll have you go as far as you can go before you hop! And then, let's get you across here ASAP. Finish that up, and we'll have you platform right towards the end here. Hop. That might have been a pixel or two too early, but one can hope. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Keep building. One more. There we go. Alright, sweet. And the runner will be the one to blow a gap. Pop! Perfect. Tight though, really tight. And then... Baron now knowing what I feel when someone calls Julius a mod! You're telling me those files aren't modified? I wonder why they gave us a fencer there. Well, I guess we will never know, because with that, we have 100% defeated Lemmings 1 and Lemmings 2. What in the world is the ending to this game? I've never seen it. Let's enjoy it together.
Okay. Am I meant to feel good about this? <laughs> Maybe childhood Jake would have felt better about just being rewarded with some credits. Come on, that's, there's got to be something after all of this, right? David loves his Porsche, his Lotus, and his Mercedes, and the wonderful chaps at Nintendo. No thanks to Biscuit, Andy's Code, Mike's Tuition, Russell Ramondo, Scott Johnson was a chauffeur, no lemmings were hurt, one got sick, someone shot a duck, that's it. Okay, thank you DMA. Nineteen ninety-three, but I thought this was a nineteen ninety-four release. Hmm. Okay, is that it? I can't start, select, A, B. Oh man! Oh man! Ramondo, he sounds suspiciously B R. Well, that's always with a big no thanks. Go to. Is there really nothing else coming after this? No, it's just run over and reset your console. Well, hot damn! I can still feel good about that. Lemmings 1, Lemmings 2, done. Never going to curse me ever again. Childhood Jake can feel good about another game from his time being slayed on stream. I don't know how long that took. I, I put my estimate in at about 20 to 40 hours for Lemmings and Lemmings 2 together. I'll run a count, see how that compares. But in any case, the next long play will be Resident Evil 4, starting after the Avorion multiplayer. When will Avorian multiplayer end? I don't know. It could be that we try hard it and get it all done in the weekend. It could be that it's going to take all of next week. Truly, I will only know when you know, and then we will update the schedule accordingly. In any case, I'll be back tomorrow with a severely misplaced weekly one-shot. We're going to do Ape Escape, five hours to defeat that. And that will be the final precursor before we start the Avorion multiplayer. So until I'm back with both of those, so cheers and cheerio.